<laughs> hi, hi, folks. Welcome to episode four, which we had the discussion before we came live that all of this stuff has happened in only three episodes. Uh, so I will give you a quick rundown of what happened. And I feel like, you know what? I feel like let's just get into it. How about we just do that? We just dive in. Because, you know what? I don't want to have people introduce their characters because it might not be worth my time. Because uh, <laughs> they might all be dead by the time we get through this. So I guess we'll see. Just uh, say me. You didn't okay. know. Uh, I'm going to yeah. try. <laughs> oh, man. That's a, that's a deep cut there, Robert. Um, anyway. <laughs> that's uh, the road dog? Right? Yeah, that was the road dog. Yeah. <laughs> Your ass better call somebody. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who didn't watch, you know, the attitude and post era of the WWF slash E, that's, that's where that's all from. Anyway, uh, last time on, uh, Lost my or not Lost Minds, Fandelver and Below Shattered Obelisk, uh, our party continued their kind of meeting of all the NPCs in Fandolin. They met with, uh, Darren Edermath, they met with Quellen Alderleaf and her son Carp, and then they made their way over to Trezendar Manor because they said, you know, no matter how much everybody said, let's figure out what's going on. <laughs> Jake said, there's an active kidnapping. <laughs> we really probably should figure out what's going on with that kidnapping. Uh, and as such, they decided to go explore Trezendar Manor. So in doing so, they met a really kind of spooky, uh, Nothic creature, uh, kind of one-eyed, said he was an ancient wizard creature. They met him, Sar Sarnak. Uh, and then, uh, oh, there's some necromancy in Bishop's backpack. And then they basically kicked in a door with a bunch of bugbears, four bugbears and a goblin who fainted. And very quickly, uh, the party almost died to those four bugbears. Uh, poor Seneth was knocked around quite a bit in that fight. Uh, almost killed you himself. Poor Seneth, you made that choice. You almost killed yourself the one time with your That's wild true. magic That's the search. last time. <laughs> it's true. It's very true, actually. Um, so, that being said, uh, our party took a... <laughs> our party took a short rest at the end of last session. Uh, and that's pretty much where we're going to pick off. You guys are pick up. You guys are all just sitting in that room. Uh, some of you under the gross bugbear covers, you spoke with, uh, <coughs> with Droop who kind of sketched you out a map of what the rest of the area looks like. So you're kind of aware of what to expect. Um, can we get that map back up. Yes, we can absolutely do that. We're going to do right, that right now. Um, because I'm realizing yes. that I don't have that. Ah, so. our little baby cartographer. Yes. Uh, also, there was the uh, trinket that was a uh, map case that basically right. Who provided got that? Robert, Robert yes. got that. Yeah. 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 Um, which is a an awesome thing to just be able to be like, oh, I'll take a, a oh a map. I'll I'll have another one. Yeah. About time these goblins got Google Maps around here. <laughs> Essentially. Why are, you, why are you a senator from Georgia? I'm, I'm not Bronson today. This is a, <laughs> the commentary on these goblins, okay? I do declare. <laughs> Hob Vesta's son. I am feeling slightly attacked. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so you have on screen... Uh, I think you should have the map right now. Back, you should be able to see that. Um, let me know if you can't. Oh, that's right. I gotta go to the campaign. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Yep, we're good. All right, so you have the entire yeah. map there available to you, uh, and you guys are kind of still stuck in the one little room that you're in. There. Mm. So. Self barricaded. Correct. Uh, you do have the yeah. key to the door. You lock the door. Um. So you should be good in that respect. But, um, yeah. All right. Very well. Um, perhaps we should listen at the door before we abscond? I think 
think that's a good idea. I mean, I can turn it into the bugbear at any time if we, if we need it, you know. That is a brilliant idea. I think now would be the time. Oh, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, she switch like <laughs> she gives uh Seneth uh one of the sheets to hold up, and she you know disrobes, gives him the clothing, and then puts on the bugbear clothing as she shifts to be a bugbear, the the head bugbear whose name was Nosk. Nosk. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, um... <laughs> what? No, no. It's not used to it. Oh, it is a little bit unnerving for, for the first couple times. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. it's uh, it's incredible. I, the voice too. I mean, you've absolutely got it. Thank you. Uh, does anybody want a hug? You're never gonna get to hug a bugbear. There's a little bit of PTSD from having just been murdered twice <laughs> by one. Right, fair, understood. Yeah, I, I'd rather not. I'm averting eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that works. At the door. Okay. Um. Well, you make me the perception check, right? I feel like that. We'll check that out and see how that does. Do they take on the bugbear's stats? No, just their appearance. Uh, no, remi- just their yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's just the appearance. Okay. But... Yeah. Uh, right. you, you, it's not concentration or anything. You could like no. cast guidance or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a it's a racial trait. Okay, sweet. That is very useful. Mm-hmm. Like well, warlock action. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twenty three. Okay. Way yeah. Uh, you don't think that there's anything happening. Uh. Outside the door. All right, give me a second. She gingerly opens the door that slams it. Okay. Uh, you Standing look in the doorway. Uh, nothing, nothing there. It's safe, guys. Come on. All right. Uh, shall we proceed now? Well, I was going to say, if I might, um, why don't they go to the door across the hall? Pretending to be the bugbear, and then that way they can infiltrate, I suppose? Instead of yes. bum rushing? Right, right. Sure. All right. Uh, we have this map now, so we know where we want to be. They mentioned something about the crypts that the uh, they were being brought to, so... Yeah, if you were to look at the map, uh, Drew will show you, will point out to you, that the area that literally has like the sarcophagi in it r4 that yes uh r4 okay. correct okay and we might well, as well like... right we have the uh, we have the you know notifications for it so absolutely so r4 is where the crypts are our good man droop gave us this here map and it looks like we could pop right pretty much to the sarcophagus through a secret door, um, or the crypt through the secret door, mm-hmm. which would be good because uh, Nask, not our Nask, other Nask, mm. uh, said that's where they were being brought. And I know we got to find this glass uh, fellow or person, but I'm not, uh, I'm not particularly worried about doing that this instant. Fair. Should we make sure that this place isn't like crawling with goblins? Um. <clears throat> yeah, Drew. Do you know how many other people are here? Uh. Well. Let's see. I would say there is at least. Oh. Let's see. Uh, there's some skeletons. I think in the crypts. Mm. So mm-hmm. I would be wary of those. I'm gonna say ten. I think like like maybe ten people, and then the glass staff, including our four bugbears here. No, that's excluding them. Whoa. So another ten 
and maybe some skeletons, and then the glass staff. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, perhaps we rescue the family and then run away. Live to fight another day. I'm not above that. As long as I'm above ground, I'm happy. Hmm. All right, that's what we call a tactical retreat. Yes, sir. Never surrender. Well, well we're not surrendering. No, it's not right. It's not. We're we're, we're rearming. I can understand that. I thought you guys were all about to give up. Or... <laughs> no, no, no. I just I'm. Just need to work through a couple things to come back. Just look at it, Seneth, and he's just full of of uh, just bashes Black. from a morning star. Just a bunch of little little speckled holes dots. In, in, yeah, in, exactly. In places. It's a bit of a pin cushion. Right. Young dumb and full of bugbear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm should, sorry. Uh, uh, should, mm. LB, should you, uh, so, should you go first? Yes, um, I think that makes the most sense. All right, and I'll sneak in behind you. Straight there, then. To my way of thinking, unless there's objections from the group. I'm at the very end. Oh, but make sure everybody got your hit points from short resting. Mm -hmm. And then whatever other stuff Nothing. you would have got. Actually, I would prefer to give those up, Ted, if I could uh Yeah, you just want to go for the if I can go for the achievement. Um <laughs> no, mm -hmm. no, 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 I got mine. Thank you. Yeah, I mean listen, if you wanna go for the honor mode run where we just <laughs> you know, single save and we see see what happens. <laughs> Um, you can definitely do that. Um, okay. I mean, we are right. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess backwards. No, that's true. I mean, you if could. I could turn you, back. Time. You could. You could do like a typical <laughs> like mega dungeon situation where you just leave and hope to go mm -hmm. back to the town and rest, and then hope when you come back in, there's not more reinforcements. There is a yeah. boy. <laughs> sure, there's yeah. an active kidnapping, as we have said before. Yes. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, so you're going straight over that direction, or were you going to R10 straight up? Straight I up. Right? Uh, are we going, or are we going up to R7? R8 to R7? Yes. Yeah, we're going back to the crevasse, and then up to what seems <clears throat> to be a storage area, and okay. then... Okay. Oh, okay. Path okay. of least resistance. So you're going across the bridges there through R8 with your buddy there, Sarnak, in the pit. Yes. Yep. Um, okay. I don't. Pit, I, I do not this look in that pit. pit. Yeah. <laughs> As you're walking by, he's like, "Hey, hey, yes, come back. Did you kill the last stuff yet?" It's the voice. Did We're you kill there. him. Hey. We're getting there. All Who right. Knows? You were a badger. You're not a badger anymore. No, no, I'm a bugbear now. Bugbears are cool. All right. Uh, anyway. <laughs> It's not a phase, and he, Mom. And he's like, yeah, I ate the other one. Yeah. It was a little hairy, but it was good. Yeah, mm -hmm. ate this one specifically. Yeah, no, it's kind <laughs> of weird. It's messing with my head. Um, <laughs> all right, all right anyway. I come on back whenever you want. How many Started driving a Subaru this? for about 10 days, and this is what <laughs> we came out with. Yeah. Uh, should we search this area while we're here? Uh, uh, the love of God, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's got a marker. So no. <laughs> no, well, you do know that, again, he's down there. You saw the weird, not quite xenomorphic goblins. The big, long skulls. <laughs> um, you know that there's magic. The, the bottom of the crevasse is magic. And he told you that it, like, preserves the dead. Hmm. Did anybody ask Snack Pack if he knew anything <laughs> about... <laughs> those uh xenomorph goblins uh nope. yes we did he did not he didn't like them because they tasted gross yeah that's we, right but that's all lunchables new right well, I, that's a good that's a good reference there snack pack doesn't want to eat them correct that, okay Ugh. 
I agree. I mean, look at them. They're all gross. Anyway, <laughs> um, should we go north then? He's like, I, yeah, I, I don't really, really care right where you go. Room. Oh, uh, all right. There. Uh, he's like, if you remember, I've got stuff for you. If you if you take care of the glass staff. Oh God! I look behind. That, that magic magic <laughs> things. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, we understand. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah, this is a little storage place, though. Yeah, we should yeah. probably so, search it. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, so let me read you the box text we have here for our point seven. of reference. I do have light on my shield. Okay, why? Good to know. Still, uh, the area is the north end of a large natural cavern, but it has been finished with dressed stone block walls and flagstone floor. Several barrels are stored against the walls here, along with empty crates, straw for packing, hammers, pry bars, and nails. The cavern continues for uh, for some distance to the south. You can make several uh, make out several passages that open off the larger cavern. Well, it looks like a deep pit because again, it's oriented as if you're standing in the room for the first time. So yes, there are a variety of barrels and things for you all to search through if you would like. Do you want what group to roll? Do you want one person to roll? Um, you know what? Well, you guys really aren't in a rush, so I don't feel like we need a roll here. You just take the time and look through it. Um, it's mostly kind of like non less pe easily perishable food stuffs. However, there are some beaver pelts in here, forty of them to be exact, worth two gold pieces each. How heavy is 40 beaver pelts? That do we like... want to start counting, tracking encumbrance? No, nope. no, absolutely nope. not. But uh, do, do I need I... to explain my French fur trapper days to you? No, no. <laughs> hey, if you want them. What's a French? <laughs> it's kind of like Lexico or the yeah, Persian yeah. Empire, <laughs> you know? Not well known, but it exists. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, these, are, these are fine pelts. These. There's a lot of hats can be made out of this. Absolutely. I think you would look stunning with a with a beaver hat. I think we would all look stunning with a new beaver hat. Mm. So warm for beaver hats. It is, These Poor, yes. poor creatures. Oh, did it's you bring spotted. Droop with you? I forget. We did say we were gonna. Okay. Did you? If we're being kept honest. No, well, I'm, 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 I'm asking. He gave you the map. He said he would come with you, but he wasn't going to fight anything. Oh, yeah. Then in but that case, sure. If, if you were giving him the option, he was beat feet out of there real quick. Oh, no. I think we should bring him with us, and then we'll give him a good berry and say, hey, don't fight, but if one of us goes in the conscious, <laughs> feed us a good berry. Feed it to us. <laughs> yeah. He's, hey. He's our mage hand. Yeah. He... <laughs> He's our, he is our free action. For that kid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, so he's, he's, all right, I will take one of three good berries that we have left. Oh, God. If this little shit eats this, this little shit eats this good berry before we need it. We could, we could convince him that it's lethal to goblins, but not to us. We could just ask him to not. I like this guy. Right, he seems pretty trustworthy. I got a three on my inside check last episode, so he's like, he's cool. I could tell. He at least needs to split it. We have multiple ways to heal ourselves. I think we'll be all right. Oh, a little just, blood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're fine. That's not good. You should be feeling a little better, we were hoping. Oh, um, I was going to interject this droop, but somebody... In your defense, good sir Jonathan, I came to your defense in a, a YouTube comment, and I thought I would approach uh, approach this subject with all of you, saying, normally, lesser restoration does not fix exhaustion. Mm -hmm. But they also brought up, normally, you don't get multiple instances of exhaustion pretty quickly in a combat. Fair. So I've been toying with, and we can discuss this now, or we can talk about it after. But is the just the burning of the spell slots for lesser restoration um, enough of a tax as like a as an offset 
to you know getting Mitigate. potentially more exhaustion should it be like lesser restoration could do like one a long rest yeah that's one okay you can do right. one and that's it it can't take it off sense. multiple levels yeah but it can do one then everything else has got to be on greater that's how i've always done it on okay. mine well um, uh that's like sound I, I i'm down for that so if there are slot you are currently as a reminder I think you have disadvantage on all ability checks and also half movement. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are the two that I have. Yes, disadvantage correct. on ability checks and speed is halved. Correct. So yes. So we'll say that a usage of some of a lesser restoration spell Love it. will lessen it by one. Good. Great. Uh, okay. I head over to the corner of this i'm gonna look for this here secret door i know it's there but i just need to figure out how it works my god this map does have secret doors on it yes yeah. this yeah drew, he will this is a good this is a nice map good yeah, job like, I, I drew the s's to replicate to, to, to show you where the secret doors are mm -hmm. i didn't know he knew how to read yeah i, I mean why, why wouldn't i Bold of you to assume that I can't read. I came in here to Am fix I a what? I mean, it's a little um, weird because you're a bugbear right now. So I'm a little like I'm having a weird thing because they were just so mean to me. Yeah. And we're like, ah, little you, goblin, you know do stuff. And I was like, I just Drew, came in here to fix a wagon. And now people Drew, are accusing me of great job. being illiterate. <sighs> anyway. Drew, um, come over here and check out and see what's in this barrel. It's fermented, but it's dark, and I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Um, Put your fish sauce. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, he's like, well, hang on. And he goes over and he shows Bishop. He like, because I described it this way last time. Beep, boop, boop. And he hits the buttons and opens the secret door. There's just like a couple of little, you know, bricks you have to press. Oh, Droop, I could kiss you. I won't, but I could. Consent, please. Um, yeah, so there's there's two doors, and you can see there's the one straight across, and there's the one to the south, which you know leads to the crypts. All right. And he will tell you, because we have this map here. Well, we're heading for Khufu, are we? <laughs> uh, he'll tell you that R6 is uh, an armory. Oh, oh, well, we should definitely oh. peek in there. I don't know why I started turning Georgian. <laughs> it's it really is addictive. It's a good it's, voice. It's happening. Who, who said armory around here? <laughs> <laughs> All the right. door's uh, locked. Yeah. Do we have a key? Uh, you do. We, it turns out that that bugbear key is like the skeleton key for this hey. whole fucking place. Killed the hardest guys right off the bat. <laughs> Potentially. That's what it Bronson, feels like. I give you the honor. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I go over and I put the key in. Does it unlock? It does. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe there is someone here proficient enough to be a good smithy. Well, let's not go banging around here. We've yet to be discovered. Indeed. What do we see? You see Fox text. Racks of weapons line the walls of this chamber, including spears, swords, crossbows, and bolts. A dozen dirty red cloaks hang from hooks on the wall. Ooh. I grab red a cloak that is complementary to my uh, muted red armor. You right. look amazing. Wow, well, thank you. I feel like I fit right in. I form two of the cloaks to make a poncho. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Uh there is also uh let's see. 12 spears, 6 short swords, 4 long swords, 6 light crossbows, 8 quivers holding 20 crossbow bolts. And then, I think that's, oh, there might be. Plate armor. 
No, unfortunately. Oh, shit. Ocean of split. Lesser Restoration. Oh, uh, oh. Split. <sighs> Scale mail. Oh my god, thank you for the raid as well. Also, I um just got a message. Uh we're gonna take apparently a break right now. I will be we'll be right back. Sorry guys. Um no I just gotta pop upstairs real quick for something, but we should be good. So I'm gonna play some music. Hang out and enjoy this. I'll be right back. Oh. apologize internet I'm, we're back though but i was going to describe uh some things that uh are just there's some especially well-made weapons here in this armory uh, a short sword whose pommel and guard are set with semi-precious stones and two matched crossbows whose woodwork is inlaid with silver um Ooh. And um I don't know, is anybody here proficient in history? 
I think we've done this before, but I'll ask no. you again. Uh, I think Bronson might be. <clears throat> no, I am not. Oh, okay. Mm. All I have is a plus I two. I only know three. I'm only proficient in my own bullshit. Oh, good. More. That's gotcha. that's important. It's good to know your family history. <laughs> Who would you say you had a plus two there? Seth? To to history? Yeah. Yeah, plus two is the only thing I got. All right. Uh go ahead and make me a history check, if you would. Oh god damn it. Mm-hmm. Oh. We're gonna have to turn on hardware acceleration again. Uh that'll get you every time. <laughs> uh Question DM, is that mm-hmm. crossbow a silvered crossbow? Is that it what you're is. Saying? I'm not saying that. I'm saying it is inlaid with silver, as in it would sell for double the normal price. Ooh. Hmm. All right. So. Uh, does it show you what my roll was? It was uh, a 14. 14. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, you would know that these, uh, especially the the gemstone kind of in the the handle and the, the inlay in these um these are these are giving brosian empire vibes Ooh. Oh, not a like, day goes by where i don't think about the brosian empire what is your brosian <laughs> empire <laughs> <coughs> so i mean yeah all okay. right well we'll definitely take those and i think perhaps uh, we should take the rest of these weapons on our way out, uh, so that uh, the red brands will be short on their stockpile here because this is quite a bit of armaments we got here. Perhaps, uh, Senate or so you guys could light them up on our, on our way out, or we could just take them, I guess. Right, of course. We'll see how much of a rush we're in to escape. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it might. You may not be in a situation to uh, to leisurely stroll with all of these. Mm-hmm. In that oh, case, boy. I will put them all in a pile with like the spears and the um, bolts on the bottom. So if we need to just light it up on the way out, it's easy enough. A kindling. Hear me out, DM. Yeah. If I had a, a pair of Jinko jeans of holding. If you did, Jinko jeans of holding. Jinko jeans of holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I would like to listen at the door, please. Uh, okay. To the, to the crypt. All right. To the crypt. To the crypt. Okay. Uh, it sounds deadly quiet through that crypt door. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 I said it. I I went there. I said it. All right. You guys wait here. I'll check it out. All right. Oh, um, I put my my hand on this big bugbear shoulder, and I'll say, "Hey, Soot. Um, now when you set things on fire, you go a little different. Um, we don't have to worry about that with the women and children." I don't understand what you mean. Okay, against the bugbears you you did reduce that one fellow to ash which was super useful and great but then it wasn't until minutes later after the burning finished that you kind of snapped back into your normal cheerful self um just be aware because i i would i would hate to have any incidents um to be honest i don't remember much of that but I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep, a, I'll keep my mind on it. No, right. I'll keep my eye on it as well. Hmm. Okay, so open uh, the door. Get in there, kid. Hold, hold, hold on here. What? Before you go. Uh huh. With that short rest, mm. I gain my channel divinity back. <clears throat> I will switch that to harness power, so I can get a spell slot back. Mm-hmm. And I will good berry. Okay. Ooh. And I will create 10 more good berries. Good job. 40 right. health. From 10 health on channel divinity to 40, baby. Hell yeah. Chicken Thanks. to chicken shit. Let's go. And I will 
divide these up and uh i will not be a scrooge i will give one to droop now here you go and thank you uh let's see here we so we have now we have 12 so yeah uh four for each of us nice okay that's gonna go a long way to keeping everybody alive how many did you give us at the beginning i think those do those get overwritten or no they last for 24 hours right they do I don't think we have a good berry left. I thought we only no. Had... I think oh. you went we're through out. all of them. Yeah. Yeah, we okay. were we, we yeah, went we... deep. So everybody's you, got. You kept giving them away at the beginning before we were in trouble. <laughs> they were good parting yeah. gifts. They yeah, were... they were. They were for all of the. Uh... I've never burned through good berries like this before in my life. I don't no, play under were... level three. It was cute and adorable, and now I miss those five good berries. <laughs> and now we're hurting. We're like, Why, Bronze? <laughs> Oh no, we have three. We have three each. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, math, math is hard. Each. Yeah. So we had thirteen total. And now we are good to go. I just got done with ice giant combat. My head's gone. Mm-hmm. All right. We sneak. We sneak in the door. So you open the door. Yeah. I would Bug like Bear. to open the door. Bug Bear was in yeah. front. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You open the door, and. Then Bishop, mm. you look down, mm-hmm. and, you are, and you notice that that rapier of yours, Ooh. the one that has the symbol of your god on it, mm-hmm. you notice that it's glowing red. Uh, I, I tap soot on the shoulder, and I just kind of uh, give it a little, a uh, little tinkle, and like <clears throat> undead. Oh. Yeah. Well, we are going into a crypt. Sure, yeah. And they said they were skeletons, so... Checks out. Right. Yeah, for, for those of you who don't know, one of the trinkets... Because the trinkets vary wildly in usability or not. There was... Uh, one of Jake's trinkets was a, a sword that basically works kind of like Sting, but for undead and not orcs in this instance. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much all it does. So It stabs. <laughs> it does so um and we did say it's, it counts as magical we did say it counts as magical okay mm-hmm. um so where were, you're gonna move into the room where are you planning to go once you get into actually i should probably look at the map huh? did i search for traps do you i think that's a good idea i mean crypts are known for being trapped right sure i will right. help <clears throat> you'd make me an investigation check I will do so. All right. In five minutes. I will. I await your we die roll. Fourteen. Okay. Did you do uh, it? I I gave you the help action. Ah. Just in case. Take your advantage, sure. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Um, it's going. That mm-hmm. it's still a fourteen. All right. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So you don't think there's any traps in here? Why would there be traps in a crypt with possible undead in it? That's that's just silly. Mm-hmm. Um, so, where are you planning to go once you get into this room? Well, do I see any people in here? You do not see any people in here. You do see two doors out of here. Hmm. Well. I thought they said this is where they would be. Well, Droop said they were brought toward the crypts. Perhaps yeah. this is a dungeon. Oh, there's, there's that door right there that leads to jail cells. Oh, perfect. Oh. Um, I will head that way then. All right. No, no, no. Let me go first. I don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, fair enough. I will hide next to the door, but I'm not touching this sarcophagus. <clears throat> all right, all right. So you're going I to will... the door. Yes, I will enter the door. Okay, now, important question. So I remember two people. I remember that Robert made a toga out of red cloaks, or poncho, rather. Yep. And I know that Bishop said that he put on a red cloak. I did. Now, the other two of you, did you or not? Seneth did not. Did you? I did not. But Soot is the bugbear. I am the bugbear. Correct. 
That is true. However, that is not what is written in the book. It specifically states people wearing red cloaks are people that spoke a password that you would have no way of knowing. Mm -hmm. Damn. So, um, <clears throat> I guess we're going to roll for initiative. All oh, right. Boy. As those sarcophagus fling oh. open and skeletons mm. come pouring out. Six of them. Oh, boy. Two in each Ooh. sarcophagi. Why? Why uh, double up? All right. What did I do to you, Ted? Are you <laughs> mad at me? Da, 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 I'm just real da, mad da, at at OBS, OBS, and I'm taking it out on you. Damn, what are you, my dad? Whoa, hey. Whoa, Whoa hey. Let's keep to fantasy here. Yeah, right, come on, that's too, too <laughs> real. Don't, don't talk to your father like that. <laughs> oh, shit. I want to go to There's mom's. There's only one daddy, and it's the dungeon dad. It's Josiah. Well, he could have been here, but he's not, so... Yeah. Once, damn call out. I'm his dungeon daddy now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's get initiatives. Um, I have a 19. So do I. 19. Ooh. All right. For Bishop and Seneth. What's your con mod? Uh, dex con mod. mod. Dex mod. Uh, plus four. Plus two. Yeah, you're definitely going first. All right. Uh, that makes sense. You should have other better stats than me. Bronson? Dex is my, my favorite. 15 and such. Go. Oh. Twelve. Okay. What our skelly boys do? Well, that's pretty good, but um, not good enough. Well, I don't think they have great dexterity skeletons. You don't know that. I'm here to whip ass and get XP. Right. <laughs> For the love of God, I just need to level up. A lot. <laughs> I don't happens. care if it's a milestone. Pavlov's dog, baby. This <laughs> makes me feel good. I do enjoy. The rolling of dice and the killing of skeletons. Mm. Good right. old Castlevania. Yes, very much so. I think regardless, I don't think the skeletons have a positive dexterity. Holy no shit. Uh, all right, well, no. anyway, yeah, they do have a positive dexterity score. Uh, but Bishop, you're up first anyway. All right, good. Um, I approach the nearest one. I'm going to block the door so that uh, Seneth is... <laughs> Not able to get attacked. You sweet um, man. Because I'm, what are you talking I, about? I'm in front of him. Oh, all right. Very well. Well, I'm still going towards uh, these here top left skeletons. Skeletons one and mm -hmm. two, but two specifically. Yeah. And ooh, uh, it does an 11 hit. And 11. I'll tell you in a second because I have to pull up their th 11 does not hit. Ah, His scraps rib... of armor are just too much for you. Ah, yes, it goes straight through the rib cage, but does not connect. Correct. Uh, uh, Would have right. been a, a killing blow on a man. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this is a, a skeleton man. Uh, Seneth, you're up next. Oh, did you have anything uh, else? I'm sorry, Jake. Uh, no, no, I'm good. All right. Seneth. Having learned from past <laughs> mistakes, uh, is going to cast mage armor on themselves. Okay, that's yeah. that's a good move. Hell yeah! Um, all um, right. You see, as he casts it, a kind of a, a um, split metal of like flame flames kind of wreaths around him, uh, and that's his mage armor. That is a regular action. And I'm also going to use my bonus action mm -hmm. to do my mantle of flames. Oh, nice. look at you go! I'm learning. I'm thoughts. reading. I'm reading my my character now. That's a pretty good idea. Did you wild magic search? Oh, when you cast an age armor. I have not. Um, did I have wild magic last time? I did, didn't I? You did. So you're at one. We're back to one. It's not impossible for you to get a one. Oh god, I must shit myself. It's a seven, but it looks like a one on, on okay. D20. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. One to two. Ugh. Okay. Um, I just want to throw it out there for somebody in the chat if you're who's asked about being able to see uh character stuff. If you're watching on um Twitch on your like desktop, you should be able to access everything via like the overlay extension, but I think. It should be on mobile too, I thought. 
Ah. I don't know, but there that's a link to everybody's D&D Beyond character sheet. So Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, after Senate, it's the skeleton's turn. This day rolled very well. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are all going to use short swords. So let's go ahead and I guess it's going to be... Oh, well, they're all going to go... Well, I guess you did attack them. But as I say, they're all going to originally just going to go for Soot because she's not wearing a cloak. Mm. But so we're going to send two over your way to start Bugbear Soot and we'll see how they how do. They... Man, I wish I had turn undead. 14? Mm. Yes. 14 hits. Oh. Yes. He does. D6. Do one dead take extra radiant damage? No. Not in 5th. Not in 5th edition. Oh. In Baldur's Gate, I think they do. I think they'd take an extra, like, D4 or something. Uh, Six points of piercing damage. Mm. And then the second guy's gonna go. That was a 12 misses. Uh, you know what? The yes. two guys in the back, they're gonna shoot a short bow. We'll shoot a short bow at you. That's 12. Uh, and then we'll get the other three at uh, Bishop, because he attacked them. All right. That's a nat one. Thank you. That's a 14. Okay. And that is an eight. So that gets through their turn. Oof. Nice. Uh, oh. Which will then go to Bronson. Uh, I'm going to get real pissed off that one of them hit soot. <coughs> uh, in here. Let's go ahead. And... <coughs> <clears throat> I will go over to the one that has accosted soot mm -hmm. and I'm going to swing my warhammer at it. Okay. Go ahead and make me an attack roll. All right. All right. Uh and since these are skellies, mm -hmm. I am pet shut, and I'm going to throw my shield, and I'm going to swing baseball with both hands on this. Okay, All right. for the D10. Yeah, seventeen. Hand. Seventeen hits. Go ahead nice. and roll me that D10. I'm going to think about baseball and swing all night. 10, Ten points. Points nice. of damage. And you notice that because this is bludgeoning damage, uh, they are vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. So that actually does 20 points of damage. Ooh. And you just dust this thing as you swing away. So this guy is gone. <clears throat> Anything else for you, Bronson? I will uh I will use my bonus action to uh grab my uh grab my shield and turn back in front. Oh, come to me, you son of bitches. All right. Uh Soot. <coughs> uh Soot uh catches the shield mm. and then steps forward uh five feet so that I am still in this guy's oh hello. In this guy's range, but now I'm moving the whole thing. I just want to click on myself. Yeah, there may be a way to lock down tokens, but we haven't there really played around with um, this enough. And Soot is going to take her hand, and she is going to bang on the shield yes. and cast Thunder Wave. Oh. Okay, on the two... Okay, got it. It's a 15-foot cube, so I can hit all four of them. Yes. Oh, I see. You're angling it that way. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, it's a con save? Yes. Oh. Uh, my save is 14. All I'll right. Just, I'll just count that for all of them because, you know, the way OBS has been, I can't guarantee I'll get to roll more than once. Uh, <laughs> so they're all going to fail. I rolled max damage, so they okay. take 16 points of no! uh, thunder damage. All right. So you guys watch as this thunder wave just absolutely destroys these four skeletons and this loud 
thunderclap underground in this stone cavern that specifically says it can be heard out to 300 feet. Mm. Just... Did the cavern just and, fart? And you Is can that... just hear <laughs> the echo off of all of the walls, all of these harsh stone walls. The sarcophagi just explode from they're made out of stone. And it just like... It's, it's like that moment where... I guess it's kind of like that moment in Fellowship of the Ring where the skeleton goes down the well in, like, Balin's tomb, and everybody's mm-hmm. like, oh, whew, we're good. Um, but we're still in combat, so it's yeah. we'll have to deal with that after the fact. Bishop, it's your turn. All right. Um, there is one skeleton left. There uh, is one. I'm going to stab him. All right. <laughs> I'm going to stab him in his eye socket. Uh, I will, uh, because I have rolled a 21. That hits. Uh, I'm going to come across for 13 damage. 13 is the exact hit points of this skeleton. Take it. <laughs> Chile skeleton. Um, for those asking in the chat, this is actually D&D Beyond Maps. Uh, I wasn't yeah. even planning to use a virtual tabletop of any kind. But then I said, what ha- What the hell? It happens to be right there where everybody's character sheets is. And they also happen to have these maps there. So what the hell, right? Give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, and for what it's been so far, it's it's worked pretty well. So, uh, it's yeah. It's better than OG Roll20 when I started on it. 100%. It's, yeah. Like, it's nice. It's been useful, and it's nice <clears throat> to be able to plan things. Uh, <clears throat> I also, object interaction bust through this door here. Okay. Going down the object interaction. That is a man who has played a lot of role in his time. <laughs> I'm, I will use every last thing that I have. If I had any damage, I'd eat a berry. <laughs> we are in combat. We just made a real loud noise. I'm, I'm trying to get these people and leave if they're in here. All right. Um... Let us see something. And I will tell you. Oh, I think there's anything in here? In this book. Appendix A. Um, you bust through that door. And on the other side of said door, uh, you are ambushed. Damn. Uh, no. <laughs> as three people in red cloaks are waiting as the door comes open and they all ah with ready ah. to actions well fly well, your way out of this fly your way I feel like I'm actively being attacked I'll be like they're right behind me uh <laughs> I just want to I just want to point out that this is not you know that this is not my normal die Okay. That's, a, that's a natural 20 for you anyway, Jake. So. Right. No, it isn't. Silvery barbs. Ooh. Ooh. Do you still have slots left? I do because I use my sorcery points. All right. All right. Oh, ah. yes, barbs. Crash this shit. That is a 17 to hit. <laughs> a 17 misses. Okay. All right. That's the tech Let's one. Go. Oh. Who's getting the advantage? Um. <clears throat> Who's next in the initiative order? That is another natural 20 on the third guy. So. Can can't avoid them all. Well done. No. So. Yeah. No. I, uh, I'm gonna sometimes. I'm gonna give it to uh to roll. Okay, that is nine points of slashing damage from their short sword. All right. Oh. Uh, but then that was their ready to actions. It is now your. Oh wait, that was your turn, Bishop. That so was now, my turn. Seneth, it is your turn. <laughs> They're right in front of me. <laughs> if I. They're right behind me, dude. They're right in front of me. Can I... Do I have line of sight over Bishop? Uh, to, to, to them, guys? yeah. Yep. I'll okay. be honest, Siddith. All I've thought about this entire campaign is you buddy cop, like, fingersing over the shoulder and, like, shooting cantrips and spells from behind people, which is what I... Yeah, uh, that's what I've done with, with Soot, because I'm squishy. So I'm just going to get right up behind them behind bishop spear on their shoulder and just pop pop all right what you got um so i'm gonna use my amulet of sorcery 
twin spell. Okay. And then I'm going to do my firebolt on the guy in front of him and the guy to the left. Okay. Go ahead and make attack rolls. Oh, wait. Was the amulet of sorcery once a long rest or a short rest? Did I use it last turn? You did use it last time. In the in the opening salvo against the bugbears before they just put you almost in the ground. Uh, That's right, because I wanted to save my own. Yes. Which is what ended up giving me back my the spell The two slot. slots okay. that you've used already, yeah. Perfectly so. fine. I can still do one. Correct. We'll take one. Go ahead and make me... One is fine. A firebolt attack roll, if you will. Is a 25 hit? Yes, very much so. It hits. Ooh. Oh, and your Mantle of Flame is active. I... Yep, which... so it does six fire damage. Nice. That's with the Mantle of Flame? That's with, because I'm adding my plus four charisma modifier and I rolled okay. a two. Nice. You can't get... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do anything on a two, unfortunately. All right, no, so... it's only ones get treated as twos. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, oh. he's still up. Oh, and make me that d20 roll. Or the D percentile, or yeah, the D20 for the wild D20. magic. D20. One or twos. Yeah. That's another seven, so I'm one to three right now. Okay. Right, lucky right. number seven. All right. Um, Ooh, Slevin. Okay. Anything else from you? That will do it, but I got my reaction back, so worst case scenario, I can silvery barb another guy. Woo. Okay. Do you have slots left? I have one. You know, I got two. Okay. Uh, then it will go to, uh, Bronson. Bronson would like to smash. All uh, right. All right. Uh, we are all sorts of convoluted in here. Yep. But I, I put am. Guys on the map, huh? Let's see what kind of Gimli shit can I do? Uh, can I Dwarven Blanca bowling ball myself uh, through these guys to try to get like uh, on the other on the other side? So you're trying go to go low. You're trying to we go back to some old well, school. You're trying to tumble through. Is that what we're, we're trying to do? Tumble through these guys. This is, uh, what what if I said that I had a great great grandpa that was one of the, uh, uh, the Spike Dwarvens? That's uh, that's. <laughs> Mm. All right, they all can right. roll. They can roll in that armor. All right, all right. I will. Uh, That's where I learned to roll. It's like jujitsu. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's like Joe Rogan taught me. This is how I get the help. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't die from laughing too hard, um, go ahead. I guess if we were to go with any standard edition older way to do this, it would be an acrobatics check to try to tumble through these guys. I were to convince you athletics and tuck it into tight core, you know, because acrobatics is usually landing on your feet. Athletics is getting there. So, all right, I will. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will allow this to be an athletics check, but depending on how this goes, you may end up prone because it'll be more of like a spear. Then yeah, I'm here to risk it for the biscuit. All right. Good. Yeah, just ride the risk through. Yeah, through. Yeah, basically. I get thin in the door frame. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll get a. We'll get a. We'll contest this check as though it were a grapple. Nat one. So you nice. just fucking. <laughs> so tell me what your what your goal with this is to do. Oh, you want to get in there. The Spanish Inquisition. Yes. Oh, I'm going over the top, two handed with the warhammer. On uh, the guy who just nat one in front of me. I just want to be over here on the other side. All right. I'm going to actually say what happens probably is he's here and you're here where you just kind of push him into the wall. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And I will let you uh, go ahead and make that strike. This is with advantage from Sinneth, correct? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Believe me. Um... Ooh, nasty. Let's go for better. Come on. Come on, baby. Ooh, 12. Ooh, 12 is enough. Ah, shit on you, bandits. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yo, 10 points of damage. Nice. All right. Uh, and funny enough, their bones are also weak to bludgeoning. Uh, only as weak as any other person's bones are weak to bludgeoning, unfortunately. <laughs> the bandit's got scurvy. That, Damn. that Low guy calcium bandits. Is still the variant. Up. He is still up, unfortunately. Old the, hollow bones. The low calcium bandits reminds me of Home Alone. It's like the really bad <laughs> wet bandits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Milk based crime. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All yeah. right. Milk based crime. So you're up next. Uh, ha has Soot seen a panther before? Um. What's the likelihood? Does that? the panther need to be alive? I mean, probably. <laughs> That's, I'm, a, I'm, I'm that's not, a legitimate that's, question. I I'm thinking either that or like a mountain lion, like similar. They're theme. basically the same animal. Yeah, more or less. I mean, yeah. they're you know sixty percent of the time it works every time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna say okay. sure. yes. Okay, so Soot is gonna back up five feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's gonna use her action, uh, to. They didn't uh, cancel me. They just asked if I needed any help. That's all. It was just like a nice. <laughs> it was just a nice question. Yeah, I need OBS to not suck. That's what I need. Please. <laughs> <I> start sixty nine. <laughs> okay, cool. uh, anyway, she, she's going to uh, assume the form of a mountain lion, aka panther stats, and she is going to uh, run up, bounce off the wall, and land. Since there's a climb speed, land behind to this bandit and give him a good old roar. <laughs> He's very scared of your roar. This is a busy door frame. <laughs> it is a very busy door frame. Um, all right, it's their turn now. Um, so, uh, the one that got hip checked by Bronson is going to go for Bronson. Oh, that is a nope. red brand sack of shit. That is an eight. Uh, the one is out of fear is going to stab at the panther or mountain sure. lion. So, well, I don't know. What, what's panther. the what's the AC of a of a panther? Because that's the 12. question. Twelve. All right. So it actually misses the panther. Let's go. And then Let's the uh, the other one's going to stab at Bishop. Nine. So that misses as well. Uh, all right. Uh, I was like, I could see the fear in Jake's eyes as I rolled that die that another natural 20 was coming. But uh, yeah, he's I'm got always a lot of, ready. He had a lot of history to go on back there. But anyway, mm -hmm. Bishop, it's your turn. Um, all right. I'll say uh, surrender. Um, and I wait a third of a second, and then I'm going to stab this guy. Oh, also, I didn't what describe... Yeah. I didn't describe the rest of the room. I just like they we've been in combat. I should probably explain what's in here. True. Sure. You can kind of see on the map, but I'll tell you anyway. Um <clears throat> this long room is partitioned into three areas. You can kind of see on the map the bars, right? That are kind of the cell bars there. Um filthy straw lines the floor of the cells, the hinge doors are which are secured by chains and padlocks. A pair like that's not true at all oh a pair yes a pair of human women are held in the cell to the south while a human boy is confined to the north all right so. i'll wave over i'll say hey we're here to get you and then i um i'm gonna stab uh the one <laughs> i'm gonna stab the bandit fellow who uh soot attacked okay uh, because i believe in focus fire sure <laughs> Is this the same one that um, Seneth hit with his firebolt? Uh, no, I hit the one in the middle that uh, yeah, no. is currently tangled with. All right, I'll, I'll leave that one there. I'm going to go for that one instead. Uh, 10 plus 6 is 16. I can, That's I can add. Yep. All right, and that will be 9 points of damage. Okay. So we've got several guys are tenderized, but they are all still up. Uh, and then it will go to you, Seneth. Oh, um, bonus action, I eat a berry. Oh, okay, sure. Smart. That berry. Smart, smart. Uh, you're still in the doorway, right, Bishop? Uh, yeah, I figured I'd block it for you. I, I appreciate you so much more than you realize. I'm going to keep using your shoulder. Uh, 
uh, in what I affectionately call the Blastoise maneuver, as I <laughs> just tank over your shoulder and pop. Yes. I'm going to shoot that one across from Bronson again. Okay, go ahead and make that Try attack. Try to end him. That is a 14. That hits? Yeah, damn right it does. Uh, with a solid 14 fire damage. Well, that guy just to a crisp is gone. Let's go ahead and get that wild magic roll, please. The shreds, you say. Need. Nine, so I'm one in four now. All right. Okay. Uh, with that being said, anything else? That does it for me. Bronson. The guy in front of you just got scorched. The other two guys have been damaged, but they are still up. <laughs> I want to uh, slam on the one in between uh, Bishop and Sut. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll, please. Oh, eight. Oof. That is going to miss, unfortunately. Yep. And uh, anything else? That's it. That's all right. All right. Well, I got Panther level two, baby. Panther said, "What do you got?" I'm gonna bite him. And give him a nice little um, call. All right. Come on, bum. Simon, no <laughs> bum. You should have moved. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> oh, what you get? I got a two. Ooh. So I'm sorry. Uh, uh, six. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, well assessed. Uh, all right, this, uh, <laughs> that guy's gonna now attack you mm -hmm. with a eighteen to hit. Hits for three points of piercing damage to your panther mountain lion form. Yeah, and then our last one here is gonna go for go for Bronson. That is an 11, so that's going to miss. And back to the top of the round. You see when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> You're a babe, see. All right, here we go. Well, the AC, baby. All right, that is a 22 to hit. That hits. I am a fighting fellow, and that'll be a 13 damage to uh, our uh, boxed in bandit here. All right, he is gone. So we've got the one guy left. Beautiful. And I'll look at him and I'll say, surrender. Uh, Seneth, it is your turn. Uh, I'm just going to poke my spear through mm -hmm. and then just turn it 90 degrees to blast him with fire. All right. <laughs> Oof. That's a nat one. Wow. Sir. Yeah. That's a rough one. Unfortunately, that's going to miss, but I'm still going to need that wild magic surge. Oh, I'm, I'm rolling it. That's the a reverberation 20. that a cavern oh, wow. comes back in. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, I prefer you not to surge in front of these civilians. Innocent, innocent civilians. <laughs> Surging so. Uh, Bronson. What about Bronson? It's your turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, so, hey, uh... Yeah, this guy hasn't said anything to us at all other than just jumping us. I mean, so far, yeah. Freeze, who are you? Uh, okay. Hey. I surrender. You're you're gonna hey live like an NPC, die like an NPC. And I'm gonna go and uh swing my hammer, both hands. All right. Just gonna kneecap him. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, 13. That it's that is eight points of damage. Down goes the final guy. They, it flat out says, they are skilled at intimidation, violence, and they have no scruples, mm. is what is written in their description. So, Not we're following that. To give. Zero no. scruples to be found. Um, all right. <clears throat> yeah, you can see. There is Effective. A... I eat another berry. Okay. These berries. You're down to what? Your last one? I have one more. Okay. Until you guys give me your berries, because... I, I'll give you one of mine. All right. Two berries. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, right. Well, we've done 
<laughs> we finished traumatizing this mother and her child. Two children. Rescuing. Two rescuing, children. Senate. Right, right, yeah. We just murdered three men in front of them. That's certainly not. Oh, apparently they're teenagers. I don't think it said that originally, but they're teenagers. Oh, they're fine. Oh, yes. Yeah, they play GTA. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um. All right, I search through these guys' pockets for a key, or look on the wall, see if one's hanging. Yeah, you find a key. All right. Um... Good afternoon. It's very good to see you folks alive and well. We're sorry that this has been such a traumatic experience for you. However, uh, we would like to escort you safely to the secret tunnel and then uh, get you fellas and uh, ladies on out of here back to I, uh, perhaps go someplace where there's a big group where you're less likely to get abducted. And uh, the mother kind of uh steps up and says oh thank you thank you so much i <sighs> and she just seems very exacerbated uh exacerbated exasperated is the word i was looking for um hopes to not exacerbate things further uh mm -hmm. and says ah, i i really i'm just so appreciative i i don't have anything to offer you as a reward for saving us um but I, I don't know if it, if it would be interesting to you, but I might know where um, there may be something valuable that you might be able to to get. Uh, I, I live, used to when I was a young girl. I used to live at a town not too far away from here. All right. Um, called Thunder Tree. Um, and we fled there after undead ran over, like just overtook the whole town. Okay. Um, but we had an alchemy shop. Um. And uh, there's a hidden section uh, beneath uh, some of the storage shelves, and there's an I have an, an old an emerald necklace that's below there. You're more than welcome to it. I I, I was never gonna head back. I I can't deal with undead. No, so. no, of course. Well, Mrs. Dendra, uh, we are the only reward we need is your safety and your lives. Um, but if I happen upon your necklace, I will. Bring it on back towards you. Oh, thank you. Please, can you get us? We just, we just want to get out of here. Oh, absolutely. Oh, also, we have a goblin companion with us. <laughs> Don't worry, he's very nice. <laughs> right, and there's a weird fish man with a giant eye that you might see in a hall nearby. Don't mind him either. Yes, don't listen to him either. He's a sneaky fella. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they, uh, they will follow you and you guys are going to just basically retrace your steps, I assume. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take the time to escort them back then. I, I give them all of the weapons and armor from the armory <laughs> to just take out with them. Be like, here, go distribute these among the town folk, just in case. Okay. And they're like, Jeez, uh, what? So arming just in the case town. The red, yeah, just in case oh, the red fair. brands uh, uh, decide for, to form a militia here. I like Tactics. It. Power of the people. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We'll be the metal now. militia. <laughs> uh, Guys, that went so good. <laughs> Still coughing blood. <laughs> yeah, but I guess I'll pick up my shield on the ground now. Or... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> That was absorbed into me. You don't get that back until I change back. You handed it to me. It's on my person. Oh no! <laughs> you well, gave me I this two to my AC. <laughs> well, hey, this is a good way to hack it. I'm gonna. I need. To, we gotta get you a. Sh I can wear it on my back. Throw it to you. <laughs> there you go. Well, the good news is, internet, that when we go down, we're back up within literal seconds, which makes it yeah, more yeah. annoying. Because it could just not do that, and then that, we'd be fine. I would prefer the not going down every time, but it doesn't I'm seem giving to want. so chinny scratches. Um, so there's big purrs, big cat purrs. Uh, All right, you guys escort them. Mitch McConnell all... OBS. <laughs> <laughs> you escort them all the way out, uh, and then what's your plan coming back inside? I don't know. We rest for like a week go, or two. And... Yeah, I was going to say, I should go take a nap somewhere. We move actually... back to Leyland. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just done with it. 
we save the hostages. That's yeah, all we just is. we just leave a really detailed note of what happened and let somebody else deal with it. <laughs> uh, can we can we oh, outsource our slots? quests? Let's go whip some ass in that tavern. <laughs> I suppose we could. <laughs> just send it crying in the back. <laughs> Does yeah, any... Barry, we're going to be fine. We're going to be there in about an hour. Get your game face on. <laughs> Does anybody have any sort of resources left? I've got two spell slots left. Damn. I, I have one wild shape. Damn. We're not looking good. Got a bunch of good berries, though. Right. Good and... berries are good for... You know, honestly, now that I think about it, I really don't have a lot of spells that I need to use. Yeah, you're a most of my trip guy. Yeah, most of my now. things are can trips, actually. I'm feeling, I feel good about this. Let's, let's, let's clear this place out. Ugh. You know what? <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Please, well, one more. Yeah, we, we for one more room, let's get one more room. But everyone's probably gonna flee after we've whipped this much ass in here. Well, you're right, Bronson. But Bronson, I, I get real close to you, Bronson. If I go down again, just let me die. No, sir. A soft cat paw to the face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's just meowing at me. So, we're back over here, kind of at the entrance of the secret tunnel here. We've got Droop. Secret tunnel. Yes, exactly. It's then we hard. die. Um... And then Droop's like, well, I mean, I'm already here. But, I mean, if you want me to go back in, I'll go back in. Right. I but I'm like, I'm like just... right here. Like, I no, can I just, understand I'm that, like, Drew. right on the way out. Just just throwing it out there. Do we know where everyone else, like, there are, there are more beings here in this cave. Do we know which room they're in? Well, hold on. He said ten, right? Roughly, yeah. There were six skeletons. Three guards. Three guards. That's nine. One of them for sure has got to be glass staff. So give or take a couple more. We're <clears> not <throat> too far off from clearing the place out then. I'm feeling so gangster that I'll just start clearing out these weapons, throwing them in a pile, going back and forth like it's moving day. Sorry, that was ten like bandits, six skeletons. It wasn't ten total. Got and it. They're... Okay. So there's still seven. Seven. <laughs> give or take one or two. Mm. Uh, and the glass staff. Yes. Oh, you want including glass staff for the? <laughs> you see, you just see my my morale just <laughs> diminish every time. Look, I really, I don't hate the idea of we came, we saw, we conquered. Let's go. We'll ex escort these people back to town. Hold up. Let everybody know. Lock the town down, and then come back after we have a chance to rest. I mean... Why don't we just go down, get snack pack right now, and say we're going to the Golden Corral Buffet? I don't understand what that means. It's, it's a delicious uh, place well, in Leyland, and it's all you can eat, and it's open damn near 24-7. Take it to the house. Here? Let's go. Let's go for the gold. Right, or, their heels. or we can get takeout, go home, relax, sleep for a little bit, and then wake up in the morrow and be refreshed and ready for a full buffet of golden cows or whatever you said. They'll be ready for us the next time. We have the, we have the element of surprise. Uh, and then you hear from further in the cave, well, I mean, I don't know about that. Oh. As three magic missile darts come flying right towards Mr. Bronson Barley. Oh, go okay. get up, baby. Five. As long as it's at him. Miss. Yes. Uh, nine. That is 13 points of force damage. As pop, pop, pop. Three magic did you missiles. 13? I did. It's a good roll. Mm -hmm. Jeez. I'm going to eat two good berries <laughs> like a chipmunk. <laughs> well, Just I'm going to need everybody to roll with... for initiative. That sounds reasonable. Okay. 
Well, you know, react to the suppository magic missile with at least one berry? Uh, I, mm, the imagery throwing yep. in suppository magic missile. <laughs> I really thought you were going to try to tell me some sort of really fucked up suppository good berry shit you had going on where you're butt chugging <laughs> good berries. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'll boot the good berry if you want me to, DM. No, Just no. Bronson, Bronson's like, ah, my emergency good berry clenches his butt cheek. <laughs> Why am I, mean, I here? Why I'll am I here? It's where the last one's hidden. Uh, oh, Sut, so you've been donated by Jake. <laughs> a charge, Thank so you, you have Thank you. a charge as well. What's wrong with us? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Listen, you sometimes, know, sometimes I can only sit you talk about there. Golden Corral, other times you talk about butt chugging good berries. I don't know what you want. You know, it's just it is what it is. We call that an extra good berry. Yeah. All right, let me get those initiative rolls, please. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Hot six. Hot six for Sonic. Lukewarm eight. <laughs> Lukewarm eight for Bronson. Sorry, Bronson. Mild twelve. A mild twelve. And what's well, you know, sounds Bronson, like this a just, luxury. Bronson, this just means that we can blast toys maneuver. Okay. Hundred percent. And a scorching twenty. Natural Jeez. twenty for our good boy Glass Staff. Do I want to hmm. waste a spell slot? Just feel very Bob's him. Oh my god, look <laughs> look at him. Is he hot? Wait. Yo, he's oh, kind oh, of. He's very debonair. Look at this. Oh damn. Okay. He never had art before till this version of the game. All right. What's Get up, that. dude? What's good? Uh, I'll break. He can. I'll break my back. <laughs> uh, he's all right. Uh, Looks like every. Nope, I'm gonna keep that mm -hmm. to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, you, you sure you don't want to follow through with you, that scene? Nope. Looks could, like uh, every... you can put that in the chat. Oh, you want Elfie? Yeah. <laughs> I see Elfie going to type. Uh, uh, as only. Uh huh. Uh, he does look like he's a gaslighter. Let's see. <laughs> um, Tell me about your NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God, he does look like a finance bro. And you don't uh, understand, like, you just got to put money in and your money works for you, dude. All right. Like, you're not getting it. Passive income. <laughs> That's what it's this all about. This guy has an, it uh, definitely has an eyebrow routine, you know, like he keeps it tight. <laughs> don't judge but, it. Okay. No, I, I can respect routine. it. The first thing I saw about him, I was like, damn. It's a little bit he of jealousy. Definitely monologues he in the mirror. looks like an evil version of you, Jake. <laughs> Nice. His, his hair is not as Jake-ish. Uh, no, that's, he why, yeah, yeah. that's why he's evil. Because yeah. it's straight. Yeah. Yeah. Straight hair. Um, okay. Good and curly. He so. bought me my free dinner from Northwestern Mutual at Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, so our good boy Glassstaff is up first. Oh, did you roll for Droop? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I should. He's, he's he's not in combat, but he can pop a good berry for us. Well, if he pops a good berry, he's in combat. I'll tell you well, that. That's what much. I'm saying. That's why well, it's important. He's a goblin, so yeah. he's gonna take an action. Bonus so action: no hide. Shit. Eats the good berry while we die. He is <laughs> my best friend. Ooh, dinner and a show. <laughs> Just popping. Thank you, there. thank you, LB. You get a you got a <laughs> a charge as well there, Jake. Oh hell yeah! All right. So, uh, first up is our good boy. I rolled for, for Drew. Uh, we fired off our magic missile here. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're, we're assessing the situation here. Mr. Mr. Albrecht is quite intelligent. Mm. Um, so he... You're still a panther, right? Okay. He is going to... I'm gonna, he's going to cast a spell at... Bishop, hi. I would like you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Hi. All right. Ooh, 19. Okay. Then you succeed. Whew. Rhino Madness. Whole person. Mm. Just as Ooh. bad. Because from behind him come three bandits with crossbows. Ooh. 
We're going to lobby some shots your direction. Uh, he has very limited magic, so he's got three spells. So I've used two of them already. So we're... I know that's a little peek behind the DM curtain, but the way they changed magic to be, where it's once a day each spell, not like here are their spells and use the slots, really changed things a little bit. So first guy shoots at you, Bishop. All right. He gets a 13. Nice. I catch it on my shield. Next one shoots towards Mr. Bronson. That is... A 17 for Bronson. Does that hit? Uh, 17 hits now because... Uh, you don't have a shield. shield. Yep. You lost your shield. It's been absorbed uh, into so silver bars. I've, I've reappropriated those AC points. Okay. Silvery barbs. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. That will miss. Now I think you're out of spell slots, if I recall. Nope. I got one left. One. All right. One more. Well, this that one... second level bump of spell slots was big. Yeah, I'm gonna give the advantage to um, uh, Bishop. No, Soot, because they go first before anybody else. Uh, so that is an 18 to hit you, though, good sir. Me? Yeah, for the last guy. No. Nah, it couldn't be. Uh, yeah, of course it could. Now nah, check your uh, numbers again. Yeah, I will. Uh, that. The 19 now somehow. Yeah. Uh, is where did they roll? That is six points of piercing damage as this crossbow bolt flies over you. I also wild magic, please. Uh, from your silver we'll quickly. Ooh, mass healing word. I had no idea. There is no, some okay. healing options in there. Not for mom. It's one in five now. Okay. Is that you rolled it and it's one and five now, or? Uh, that was a seven, so now it's one through five. That is okay. so many sevens. It is a lot of sevens. All right, then after, uh, after they go, Droop's like, should should I feed somebody the berry or should I wait? Wait, the big guy. <laughs> I'll come over and stuff the berry in your mouth and then run away. Um. Okay, uh, that's that's Droop's turn. Uh, then it's going to go to, actually, Bishop, you had the 13. I did indeed. Um, these guys are, oh, I should put them on the map, huh? I. Yeah, these guys are actually, like, way over here. That is totally fair and reasonable. Um, all right, well, I will pull out my longbow. Mm, okay. And I, I will, as I move, I'm going to move up towards the crevasse, and then I'm going to shoot him with my longbow. Go ahead. Drop that crevasse. Yay! All right. Uh, do I still add plus six <coughs> of the longbow? I do. Okay. Um, so that is a 19. Uh, he will hold his glass staff out, and whoosh, a shimmering arcane shield will appear and deflect your longbow shot. That hurts my feelings. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I say, uh, touche, and then I move to this corner here. All right. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't. I have... All my health, I'm going to take <coughs> the rest of my movement forward so I can close <clears throat> next okay. turn. Hurtful. You didn't have to throw it in my face like that. But... All right. Uh, so that is a thing. And then next up is uh, Soot. Yeah. Okie dokie. I have 50 feet of movement. Uh, so Soot is going to uh, Panther Soot, uh, the Bobcat. Uh, I'm going to, she's going to plum rush Mr. Glassstaff. Sure. So she is going to go up and do a claw attack mm -hmm. uh, at advantage because thanks, Silvery friend. barbs. Yeah. Got Silvery boo. barbs. The barbs. Are um, you a pack tactic creature? No. Damn. Mm. Uh, that's Gotta a imagine. 15 to hit. That will miss. Dang it. Wow, really? Yeah, he's got that... Uh, so 11... 
Do you put shield on at 11? Uh, no, no. He had put a shield on. It was much higher than that. It was 19. Nin I rolled a 19, yeah. Oh, you rolled a 19. Okay. Well, I rolled an 11. Or no. I, yeah. I, I, my total was 19. Okay, your total was 19, and he shielded. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? I'm going to poof, poof up as a bonus action and growl. Well, I'm going to roar. Uh, I'm not going to roar, but Panther's going to roar. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, then it is Bronson. Snack pack, we need you. <laughs> Last staff is here. It's time to close ranks. Soot needs your help. All right. Would you like me to roll a uh, persuasion check or anything? Uh, sure. Yeah. Can you give him a help action? You, you know, uh, we could also just, you know, RP that if you wanted to. Um, <laughs> yeah, we could, we could. <laughs> We could we could RP that natural uh, one. Um, um, so he attacks real, us real <laughs> real quick for the chat. Chat, he's there, a turncoat. There is a Nothic in this crevasse. His name is Sarnak. He was a you know Nothics. The lore behind Nothics is more or less when wizards get too greedy and dabble too much in magic. Sometimes it can backfire and they turn into these weird, creepy, one-eyed creatures. Um, it's like people who work in Wall Street, you know. Yeah, so uh, Bronson, you also have a charge, thanks to Jake. Uh, <laughs> I'm done for tonight. Uh, what, uh, what does the charge give me? Uh, advantage on a roll of your choice. Oh, absolutely. I will force hammer this sucker after I've yelled out for snack pack, and I'm going to uh, send my uh, lightning strike cantrip at... Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the... Let's see here. I first, I guess I need to move uh, where I can get a shot. Well, I think, how long is the distance on that one? 60 feet? No, I was just thinking I got a pillar right here, and I uh, I guess I could... You were right there. Where were you, right there? Yeah. You can move forward, or... Can I get this guy right here? Or yeah. this guy right here? Yeah, you can get one of them. Sure. And they all three have crossbows, right? They do, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, it do doesn't matter which one is the clear and present danger. I will. So sending it down the line. The party has been it. calling him Snack Pack instead of Sarnak. Is the and they've also fed him bugbears. So it's a whole thing. <laughs> there's there's a whole ecosystem here. Yeah. Uh, how do you roll with advantage on uh, D and D Beyond? Uh, I think you can just right click on the thing. Yes, that's how you do it. Thank you. Cool. Yes! Yes! That oh. 20! That 20. All right. This is going to be nasty. This is going to be nasty. Go ahead and roll that damage. Come on, baby. Oh. God damn. That's rough. Oh. Devin. A three and a four on 2D. 2d12s 2D, 2d12s 2D yeah oh um you hate to see it all right uh he takes the damage and he's like ah but he's fine unfortunately um thank you again all these twitch prime subs coming through tonight i really got a line of primes dude i know i really gotta work on next time i'll have to sit down and really expand my overlays so they work Although I am really enjoying these Baldur's Gate 3 stupid things that pop up that I put in the corner. I did that for my Baldur's Gate 3 stream. I just didn't change it for this, but... Yeah. Uh, Don't anyway. worry, it's just me rolling to see what could have been. Yeah, that's Boy. that's fair. Um, okay, uh, so that was Bronson's turn. After Bronson is Seneth. My mage armor I last for eight hours, so I don't have to worry about that from the last fight we had. Correct. Mm -mm. Uh, but I do have to use bonus action again for mantle of flame. Oh, uh, that's was that? Yeah, it's a minute, right? It's a minute. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Yep. Do it Which again. Is perfectly fine. I don't have a lot of bonus action things anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. Post up behind Bronson, spear on his shoulder. Sure. And I'm gonna send a firebolt down the line at um, 
one of the bandits in the back. I have 120 feet, so I should be able to hit just fine yep. from here. You got it. You want to go for the one real bear hit with the lightning? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 17. That hits. Uh, 11 fire damage. All right. Six. That toasts just send that a bolt. dude. He, crisp, he crisps up. Roll me that wild magic. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. There you go. Gonna go off one of these times. It's gonna happen. Robert, I love you so much. And whatever happens, I just want you to understand that we're in this together. Oh no. Oh no. And Drew, oh, maybe. Oh no. Did you get it? Yeah. All right. Hang on. Uh... Let's 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 pull it up. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and roll me that. Sweet, sweet percentile die. Let's see the what 35. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh-oh. That's fireball. It no. might no. Uh, uh, no, actually, it's not because this is redone. Because this is my wild. This uh, is, only, okay, this is only fire based because we're dealing with phoenix magic here. Thirty five, you said. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. With a warm blast of air, you are blown back thirty feet in the opposite direction of the spell cast. <laughs> so you're outside, my friend. Well, or is there a wall look there? At where I'm at. They're there... technically right on the corner of a wall. Yeah, but I feel, I mean, I feel it's like funnier you're, if you're, you're going, backwards. you're going out the business. door. <laughs> you know what, Scott? For, the, for the bit, it'll be just. Well, <laughs> what's great uh, is also that you have half movement speed. So you're 30 feet back outside and it's going to take you, what, two turns to make it back inside. Oh, uh, Hold on. Well, five, ten. Each square is five feet, right? Yeah. Oh, you could make it just to the edge. If with 15. I have 120 feet of range with my firebolt. I oh, don't yes, have to as go in this tunnel see, at all. You, yeah, you yeah. should be all right. Oh, all right. right. This honestly was kind of best case scenario for somebody with it, eight health. It could have been worse. I mean, you know, we could have made the argument. Chat said it too, but like you impact the wall and then you take fa essentially falling damage from being thrown into the 30 wall. 30 feet of Jesus. falling damage. But I'm not traveling the full 30 feet, though. No, no. To hit the wall. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. You're fine. But anyway. It, just right. realign, it realigns my chakra like Aang. Yeah. Oh, my lightning power. Uh, my avatar <laughs> stays back. I'm good. My blood bending. Uh, uh, all right. Um, and uh, that's it for you, I assume, yeah? That's bonus action and action. Oh, you actually can use your movement to come back to make, you know, 15 feet back towards where you were. I'll start making my way back so I can get to the edge behind Drew. Yes. Um, all right. And you uh, see from the pit, because I had already actually rolled his initiative before this happened. Yes. Your good friend Snack Pack begins to climb his way out of the pit. Um, and he... I Tuscan Raider him. He <laughs> stares at one of the bandits with his down. big, gleamy eyeball. And the bandit makes a saving throw. Our man wants that wizard meat. Robert Wirt phrasing, bud. <laughs> you watch as he stares at the bandit with his glowing green eye, and the eye kind of glows in intensity. And um, it actually isn't, it's just a gaze, which is pretty funny. Uh, you just watch as that guy, uh, his skin just begins to start rotting. And then almost in like a Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of way, like his skin just begins to rot away and he just rots into nothingness and disappears and dies on the ground. One of these oh. bandits. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, it's going to go back to the top of the round. It's the Glass Staff's turn. Uh, and he looks at the Nothic and he says, we had a deal. Um, and he's mad now, but he's also <laughs> mad at you guys. So uh, he looks at Bronson. And he says, my turn. And he shoots lightning back at you. Let's see. LB, you're muted. Your pleads to get hit. <laughs> I know, she, I know exactly what she's. I can see it on her face. Oh yeah, me too. I could, I could read her lips saying, "Hit me, please." 
Oh, you know what? Hang on. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase because that's a good point that you're there. Um, yeah. He will teleport. That is terrifying. Oh, over here. God. With his bonus action, just teleport that he has. Um, so that is a 18 to hit you, Bronson. Yep. Silvery Barb's last one. Okay. A boy. Remind me what Silvery Barb says? I hate, I hate to be that guy, but you don't have line of sight. Oh. Well, hang on. Just out of curiosity, remind me what Silvery Barb says? I'm going to read it verbatim. You magically distract the cr triggering creature and turn its momentary uncertainty into encouragement for another creature. The triggering creature must re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. The lower roll, okay. You can then choose a different creature, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I wasn't was sure. This with advantage? No, it was a th it was an 18, you know, modified 18. Mm -hmm. And my second roll was a natural 20. Ooh. So I wasn't sure if Silvery Barb says you use the second roll. Okay. And I was like, did you, I was like, did you just almost kill him with this? But no, um, that been pretty cool though. That would have been pretty funny. Uh, so anyway, um, actually, hold on. How is, is where I'm at true to where I am with Zenith? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say because you got blown outside. I think I put you 15 feet back. Okay. So because you got back there. Yeah, you got back. Forward. Yeah, so you're probably right there is pretty accurate, I'd say. Okay, because I just reread. There's another little chunk of text at the top that I didn't read. Which is? 60 foot range. Well, he moved up. He teleported up. But from Snack Pack? Yeah, Five, he teleported 10, 15, 20, across 20, 25, from Bronson. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, oh, he's is, just in range. Yeah. It's not from Snack Pack that No, he's right Last here. Last staff did it. Oh, Last I'm staff. sorry. I thought Snackback did. No, That's no, like, Snackback just melted a man into into. Yeah. Oh, then we're. Uh, oh, do I have Goo. line of sight? It's up to you. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'll allow it if you want to blow your last slot on this. I feel like we tried. I yeah no we tried. <laughs> I thought uh, yeah. Well, okay. either way, you did, and it still hits anyway because it was an eighteen. Regardless of yeah. So that is uh, five points of lightning damage to you, Bronson. I'm gonna give All Bronson right. the advantage. Okay, and then he's gonna make a second. Shocking burst attack. Because he can. That's an 18 on the Secret die. Secret final silvery barb. <laughs> Secret <laughs> silvery barb's final technique. What? You know where I was hiding this one. <laughs> uh, and that is another... Same as the good bear. Another the seven eye. points of lightning damage to you. I am Bronson. still up. Jeez, oh, you gotta right. be fucking good he's berries. Gotta be, he's gotta be I damn have close. I six of but... 21, man. Because Jesus. I... Uh... You've been eating good berries. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, we did hit that goal. We hit that sub goal. We're doing good. This is it's been hey. a good night. Thank you guys so much. I should have set up a sub goal thing, but I didn't. So much stuff has happened, and then OBS will crash as soon as I start saying anything nice. So, yes. um <laughs> Bro, nobody else hits sub goals that crashes five times on stream. This is a hey, that's also go. true, right? So, let's go. That is very true. Um, Senneth, did you roll a natural one for your wild magic search? Oh, oh let's roll. please come on. This would be great. You that's committed to this. Now I've committed to this also. No, <laughs> no that's fine. <laughs> keep, keep, keep me honest. All right. That's a, uh, uh, that's then it ten. is the uh, the remaining bandit's turn. Um, and he does have a cat in front of him. Mm -hmm. He will attack the cat with his scimitar, which he will roll a two like a chump and miss. Yay. Uh, then I it can't goes... imagine someone actually swinging a scimitar at me <laughs> with this huge fat blade. Like, ow! Uh, it is now um, brutal. Bishop's turn. All right. Let's go, um, Bishop. Let's see. I have exactly enough movement to fight Glass Staff on the bridge dramatically. Oh, let's go! So I, I dance around Bronson and close in with uh the with my rapier, the Cormish opening, and uh, I attempt a stab, but I expect a shield. Cornish opening. 21 to hit this time. Ooh. Uh that it will matter because that's as high as you can get with shields, so Absolutely. you will you will hit. For your rules. All right, cool. I'm I'm going I'm going straight center mass for 
12 damage. Whoa. All right. Yo, I he, love the... He takes it. <laughs> and I'll say, uh, surrender. <laughs> That's my that's my post stab. Is that your new is that your new post stab? Yeah, yield stab. All right. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna eat a berry. Okay. Uh, up after you is soot. Okay. Um, soot is going to move away from this bandit. He will take the opportunity to attack against you. Yes, please. Fucking two, so no. Okay, this is making it harder for me. Uh, I am going to move up past uh behind this boulder here. Um, and I am going to drop wild shape as a bonus action, mm -hmm. and then summon my wildfire spirit. Mm -hmm. Here ish. Uh. Within ten feet of glass staff, but not my friends. Okay, all right. So and he's I gonna need to make a dexterity saving throw, please. All right, or take some damage, right? Or take some damage. Yeah. He will make. Uh, what's your save? Fourteen. Um, yeah. He will fail. All right, so he's Woo. gonna take. Uh, ten fire damage. He dies. Nice. Oh. <laughs> He's a wizard, guys. I don't know what you want. Yeah. I want him to mm. die. Well, he, he goes, ah, and he dies. And he, uh, he, he whispers in his dying breath. He says, what's the thing's name? He's like, oh, I'm dying slowly. And he says something, something about someone named Z. Z as in the letter? Yes. Dragon <clears throat> Ball? As Don't thing. tempt me. Don't fucking tempt I've put the Dragon Balls in my games before. Don't. <laughs> I'll do it again. It's Vegeta. Uh, so, ugh, never mind. It says, <laughs> so it says, all evil empires burn under the flame of justice. Hell yeah. Uh, and then... Let's go. As that is said, because uh, well, the one guy is still left in the back, um, currently. Uh, I turn to him like Hulk Hogan. You brother, and I just got a point. I give him the finger. I got four hit points, and I'm still got an uh, attitude. Me, me, and Droop are are pulling together a rope so that you can <laughs> shake it. <laughs> um, you at this point here, uh, Bishop. Oh, uh, you here and see while well, it, it becomes visible as you see a small demon looking creature uh dislodge the support for the bridge Fuck. because these were rigged for this he didn't get a chance to do it that was his plan was to get somebody on the bridge <laughs> um and the bridge just <laughs> collapses away and you see a little quasit demon on the side revealing itself from invisibility mm. uh and you will take some falling damage as you fall into the crevasse uh i'm i'm feeling <clears throat> so very proud and then all of a sudden i'm just like <gasps> you take nine points of falling damage as you fall Ow. into the 20 feet down into the crevasse i'm glad this wasn't any, any, you guys no chance for me to maybe do a reaction to try to grab him <laughs> well you're kind of on the bridge you're like kind of on the bridge and that's going He's... away too oh okay well i'm gonna kind of like ignore that i said that and step over to the side <laughs> that's fair <laughs> um can i shoot this closet there is still one i mean we're still in order right so okay that was, oh okay you killed Sorry. the guy there is still one guy left in the back and yeah. he's very quickly weighing his options um <laughs> I point my, my rapier before I fall to him and I say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, so Actually, well, soot, soot went. Uh, Bronson, it's your turn. You see uh, Glass Staff's dead. There's this closet there. There is a, a, a bishop in a hole. Oh, that closet. I take the, I take the, the, the finger that was on the bandit and then I go, 
you little shit. And I'm going to send the lightning bolt out of my finger towards him. And he's like, wait, I'll join you. Ah. <laughs> we all try. go ahead and make your day you might we'll make your attack roll you might yeah to i gotta make my roll nothing's given with my rolls right now uh 13 that's the armor class roll that damage yes one oh well, he can't take a half a point because he is resistant oh. to lightning damage so he takes the one point the one. and there he's like go. i'll join you point. and he's like ah oh, fuck uh i mean yes i'll join you we can make a pact. I don't know of any clerics with familiars, but we can make one. We don't make any packs. Like ever? Uh, that's gonna go to, to Seneth, your turn. Uh, that bandit's still down there? He is still down there. <laughs> I okay. can't hear anything that's happening, so... I'm gonna just send one down the line. Fireball <laughs> so that's fair. <laughs> Go ahead and make your attack. Yeah, roll. Hearing that firebolt go from way down. Uh, 14 to hit. 14 will hit, I believe. Growing up in a world without magic yes. is really just not fair. <laughs> 13 fire damage. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, yeah that's game changer ever since I realized Mantle that, of Flame, by the way. Your, your yeah. main level one ability? Yeah. Yeah, there um, you go. Yeah, the, he is just roasted. Oh. That's a nat twenty on my uh, yeah. wild magic. Man, uh, you and keep doing that. And then uh, snack pack crawls out and just starts eating him. You hear the bones crunching. The one that just got. Oh, okay, <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Scorched. Because he was gonna eat him anyway. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, he's. <coughs> you hear the bones cracking as he's just devouring this guy. Um. And then the it, we are now officially out of initiative, and the closet's like, wow. Oh, I mean, he's yielded. I'll listen. I mean, who wants a familiar, right? You, fire guy, you look like you can. You need you need a familiar, right? Come on. My with my speed half, I finally make it back. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe to, like happened? help you walk. I don't know. Oh God! Why is that cockroach speaking? What do you have to offer? Um, you you know, uh, servitude. I could Were turn you... invisible. Ooh. I can do this. And he turns into a centipede. He turns mm, back. A normal size centipede. Uh, oh. <laughs> and he turns into a bat, and then back, and then into a toad, and then back. Okay. All right. I can do that. That's pretty cool. Come on, you know it's cool. Pretty cool. I could use another friend. Um, do you want to get out of the hole? I mean, <laughs> I can. Or Bishop? Oh, well, I, yeah, I'll scramble up, I guess. I scramble up on the glass staff side of things. Okay. Um, so, and he's like, all right, he, he he's like, oh, yeah, I would like to get out of the hole. And he doesn't realize you're talking to Bishop and he like crawls out mm -hmm. of the hole. <laughs> Uh, and as soot, I actually need you to roll me a percentile. Someone donated a oh. trinket for you. And he goes hey. and he goes, here, um, take this as a gift of my friendship. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Let's see what it is. Uh, Hold your 80, breath. It, it might not be great. Maybe two. Uh, oh, well, this doesn't really work as a gift. So we'll have to... Um, all right, you have a lot of interesting wild shape related things that we're just finding out about you, LB. Uh huh. So when this is actually funny to the point from before, when wild shaping, oh. you can choose one piece of clothing, such as a hat or a cape or even glasses, to not be absorbed, but instead scale and fit perfectly to your new form. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or shield, one would say. I mean, it does specifically state Ultron clothing, style clothing, <laughs> but um. Oh, and then. <laughs> Uh, I have to make one for Droop because the chat gave Droop a trinket. So <laughs> for him. Aww. I'm sorry, did we just get two familiars? <laughs> Droop uh, is now a level one half adventurer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're gonna make Droop a monk. Droop is gonna get a 75. All right. Um oh boy. Uh which it appears apparently magically because it's a tattoo. 
Uh, so <laughs> it says a tattoo on your arm or chest that changes over the course of a few hours. It shows some of your greatest deeds in life. And it currently now shows him feeding Bronson a tattoo of him, <laughs> like super buff, feeding like poor weak Bronson a good berry. <laughs> Like uh, like the creation of man. Yeah, but with Bronson yes. on the ground and he's being fed a good berry. It's just a full chest piece of that right now. Uh, it's a lot <clears> like <throat> that scene of uh, David Hasselhoff when he's laying on the ground with the, the cheeseburger, except that's the good berry. Yeah. So um, anyway, that's a thing that Droop is apparently now getting trinkets. I like when the NPCs start getting trinkets because that's just goofy. It is. Um, but yeah, so this guy, he's like, uh, yeah, uh, I was going to give you a thing, but then it turned out to not be a physical trinket that he could give you. But that, either way. That's okay. Um, he's What's like, your name? Uh, well, what do, you, what do you want it to be? I can name you? Sure. We're friends, okay. right? We're friends. No, I totally, and we don't kill our friends, right? We totally no. don't kill our friends. Um, and he like looks at Bronson and he looks back at you and he's like, yeah, I mean, he called me Z, but I'm not married to that name. You can call me whatever you want. Um, how about A? Sure. I'll be A. Um, Ted, what were Glassstaff's final words? <laughs> Z. Oh, wow, that's... And then he pulled the, the bridge pin and dropped you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he did a, he did his best. I think he was kind of hoping it might have killed you, but didn't. That would have been hilarious to end a combat with just you fall crap. unconscious in the in the crevasse that preserves dying people. Like yeah, um, you guys take a short rest and heal me afterwards. Um, yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, I searched Glassstaff's body. Sure. Um, on Glassstaff's body, he has. Uh, well, the main thing that he has on him is the staff. The glass staff. Mm -hmm. He has a spell Eponymous. book. Uh, a spell book. Um, oh, uh, yeah, he has a spell book. None of you are wizards, so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Um,. But yeah, that is, uh, that's what he's got. Okay. Um, now, this here glass staff, is, I don't know. I, anybody want it? Um, well, it, does, it does feel stronger. Like, it doesn't feel, like, brittle. Like, hmm like a staff made out of what you assume a glass staff would be like it feels like, it, like it it's it's like you're not going to just crack it in half you know sure. what I mean? also it didn't get melted in the the fiery in, in, death cor correct okay uh yeah some sort of fire resistance staff here Seneth, i've got you a walking stick my man oh god thank you so much i grab it oh and All then right. a will just be like it's magic it's a magic staff Ah. Hey, what's it do? Uh, it's real good at defending stuff. Like it's a like if I had to give it a name, I'd call it a staff of defense. That's mm. a good name. Also, he's got other magic. So he has a whole lab. Ah. Really? Are there other yeah. people here or could we just go look at it? I mean, there might be other people here, but I feel like um if any of them saw what just went down, they're probably like they're good too to beat feet out of here. Okay. It's like you just myrtleized him. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Snack pack. Is that not yeah. Oh, and then you see like snack pack like he sees and he's like bounding like over and just <laughs> just starts eating into glass staff. Uh, like you kinda have to like take a step back. Like oh, yeah. he's just like he's going to town. And he seems like he is He's almost enjoying it too much. But you're not sure because you know he, you know, through the lore and things we've discussed and kind of found out that he was at one point a wizard. So perhaps mm -hmm. consuming the flesh of a wizard, just like 
is that much more like maybe it's a power thing maybe it's just a delicacy you're not sure okay but he's loving it every minute of it there are i'm not even gonna attempt to replicate the sounds that he's making as he chows down on this man good very well um you said you had items if we brought you his mm, body yes items let's go get the items from the pit i, I very <clears throat> dramatically cross one line out of my notebook um <laughs> uh, and he goes, yes, and he climbs down into the pit, and he comes up with a chest, and he puts a Ooh. chest on the ground. Things, I promised things. Many things. Here are things. And he just goes back to eating the glass staff. He's loving it. He loves it so much. It's so good. Ba -da -da -da. I open the chest. Inside <laughs> the chest, you find uh, 160 silver pieces. Okay. 120 gold pieces. Wow. Ooh. Five malachite gems worth 12 gold pieces each. I throw those to so that... <laughs> uh three potions in here. One you can easily discern is a potion of healing. You've all seen these before, you know what they look like. Um and then two other potions. Uh, I believe one let me see. Uh, maybe I can just. Maybe, I think some of them just have descriptions. Um, now, see. since we're using like you need to get magic items identified, we can't just do the the sip test on a potion, right? That well, wouldn't make sense. I feel like that probably wouldn't make sense. No, I think They're once not you drugs. I think if you know <laughs> what they are, then that's fine. Like if you've had one before. So this this one potion. It's separated into brown, silver, and gray layers resembling bands of stone. Shaking mm -hmm. the bottle fails to mix the colors. Hmm. Yes, this is just full of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> it's a dirt potion. It's just a little dirt, <laughs> dirt bottle. Uh, and then this other one, the red in this potion's liquid continuously expands from a tiny bead to the uh, to color the clear liquid around it and then contracts like it's mm. kind of almost oh. yes uh, a potion of fireball very well uh so those are those are kind of what you see um in there oh and I, I almost forgot there's also a sword oh shit in this chest there is a rapier oh, oh. shit <laughs> um it is let's see um ba, ba, ba. let me find the description elegantly crafted rapier um the blade is made out of polished bronze complemented by a hilt that features intricate patterns uh resembling kind of um different uh ornate kind of like shields and and stones and things like that Kind of like looking a little bit more like a <coughs> like fortifications, if that makes sense. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Ron's handle. Yeah, and it's kind of like the 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 cage, I guess, is like the basket. Yeah. Yeah, it's like shields. Um, it almost looks like a like a brick wall with like shields kind of mounted on the outside. This is a beautiful piece. Um, I take it. I mean. As long and as it, it does appear to not have any, you know, rust, and it's it doesn't appear to have chipped edges or anything like that. <clears throat> Odd hey, that it's SP. made out of out of bronze. <laughs> yeah, we just, I'm, we're just gonna nickname them down to nothing. I got um, that. I, is noticed. this this is magic? And I hold up the rapier. Yes, some kind of magic. Very well. I now am pulling a full Zoro for one piece because I have three rapiers tied <laughs> onto my belt. <laughs> All right. Uh, I like it. Um, which one are you wielding, like, currently? This new one. It's magic. This other one's magic, but just this is my nightlight for undead. Uh, also, I will tell you, Seneth, because you seem to have history... The um actually make me another history check this time at advantage. Another advantage? Yeah. Uh 15. Okay, yeah. Uh this also has uh 
this is Brosian Empire designs. The the bronze blade, mm. the ornate, the shields, the fortified walls, kind of very reminiscent of a lot of the very heavily talked about structures of the Empire. You would know that this particular weapon is called a broscade. Mm. Um, and it was a weapon typically wielded by uh, like generals or captains within the Brosian Empire. The Brosites. Brosites. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are hoplites. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Standard sidearm for, or, or, you know, in some cases, you know, main piece for officers in the Brosian military. Kind of. Prized for its balance between form and function. Would I know <clears throat> what magic they possess? <clears throat> if it's anything that's not just it's innately magic? Um, well, I guess the history, you know, kind of there were very well known for their defensive capabilities. Okay. So presumably... Sometimes Something. it was also awarded to, like, if somebody went... Like, usually it was standard issue for, like higher-ups in the military, but sometimes sure, these sure, were sure. gifted to soldiers that showed, like, exceptional bravery or skill. It was kind of like a like a, a reward piece, if you will. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. All right, well, um, Bishop, that sword, hmm. from what I've read in Mum and Dad's books, um, something of a uh, n- novelty, even, one would say. It is... I don't know if you're familiar with the Brosian Empire. Uh, is that the one that fell from the sky? No, 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 no. That one's that was a different empire altogether. Okay. All yeah. Right. yeah. Um, but no, the Brosians, you know, much like the the Brosian horse and the story and such. Mm-hmm. Uh, but these types of blades were gifted to either generals or soldiers that proved themselves in battle. Um, much like you have, I would think it's a fitting reward for. Today's cough up blood. Like today's, um, uh, uh, you know, um, escapades. Uh, yeah, I'm taping up my ankle really good. Yeah, I landed directly on it. <laughs> but, it's yeah. just shattered. Yeah, where it's like, uh, that's okay. Oh, I've got like a piece of the um, the bridge as like a, a splint. splint for yeah, it. <laughs> I've got. I've got mage hand, and it's using all five fingers to like plug morning star holes on my chest. <laughs> oh, I have more good berries. I didn't eat any of mine. Oof. Um, right, actually, where's Droop? I'm right here. Right, Droop, um, you stuck around. You a uh, yeah. brave young fellow. Yeah, look, he shows you the tattoo on his chest of him feeding Bronson. And I don't know when this showed up, but apparently that was the right thing to do. <laughs> all right, I'm all the chosen one. <laughs> wow. And you look so handsome. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is very. The hair crazy. is just, you know, Whoa. you know exactly what it looks like. You can picture it perfectly. I can. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> it's, it's 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 the creation of Adam. Oh, a hundred percent. That is exactly what yeah. it is. All right. It's it's droop with a good berry. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. It is one hundred percent. That is canon to the story. I eat my last good berry, admiring it. Uh. Mm. I eat my last good berry also. The one that Seth gave me before. I, I still have three. Uh, Soot walks all the way around. <laughs> because the... Yeah, the bridge is out, yeah. The bridge is out. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to pop Here. a good berry. How much do they heal? Four. 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 I feel, I feel almost better. Yeah, same. That was pretty tough. That was wild. I told you we could do it. Bronson, you we were did. right. We did. Um, mm. All right, we need to find Glass Staff's notes. Uh, right, do we have to do it right now? Hey, it might as well. Right. Yeah, no, that's true. We, uh, yeah, I, 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 I can take it. And there. then loot the place as much as. Very okay. auto loot uh, selection uh, tools. Yeah, yeah I, please. I, also, <laughs> I'm burning this place down as soon as we're done with it. Okay. Um, so out of pettiness, okay. Uh, here's what I will tell you as you make your way through the stuff. Is it R11? Is that where we're uh, R11? It well, R so R10, which you didn't go into, Mm -hmm. which was uh, probably smart because that was the common room, 
uh-huh. where the three bandits were that came Ooh. out. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. So this has like tables. This is basically where they were playing. Like they would just hang out and like gamble. You could see like mm-hmm. remnants on the gambling table of like knuckle bones and coins. Um, so you'll see in this room amidst their betting, uh, there is a set of like knuckle bone dice. If that interests anybody, um, uh, it interests me. There is uh, so get ready, whoever's writing it down. There is se- seventy-five copper pieces. We love we we stand our D and D inventory management note takers. Yeah. yeah, fifty-five silver pieces. 22 good old Electrum pieces, everybody's favorite currency in d and I find it interesting. Me. It's like a $2 coin. Yeah, 15 gold pieces. And a gold earring set with tiny ruby is worth 30 gold pieces. Hmm. I still uh, hand, hand out Electrum whenever... Uh my players go to uh some sort of like theater you know just like the movies they were the only people with the two dollar <laughs> just like it's just like with poker chips it's just electrum pieces <laughs> like when you go to a casino you just get electrum because nobody's going to take it anywhere else you, you change that into gold um, i take the earrings and i throw them to seneth i feel like they'll look good for him Ooh, a little ruby Don't earrings. question it just pops them off <laughs> all right the rubies oh. it's it's a good look for you right it's like fire right yeah, that was my yeah. thought. Uh, I see you. So, as you make your way through that into R11, uh, that is, in fact, the Wizard's Workshop. Yeah. Um, does anybody here proficient in Arcana or Alchemist supplies? Yeah, boy. All right. Uh, you can tell that there's basically, in this room, it is it is a quintessential workshop, right? We've got alembics and retorts, distillation coils, all sorts of things, you know, to clearly brew potions of some kind. Bookshelves are crowded with parchment and, and different kind of ancient tomes and things. And it looks like the current setup in the kind of alchemical set is ingredients and things to brew a potion of invisibility. Ooh. But it hasn't been successful. Like you can see that there's failed attempts. You're not there's 100%. A uh you're not i mean we can make some checks i don't know how knowledgeable you are of all people of making your own things um because i feel like you have dare you i feel like you have a guy for potions you don't make them yourself second of all (laughs) how dare you sir (laughs) um why would uh, you say something so mean (laughs) but true (laughs) my floor (laughs) excuse me uh, my um, own potion? You mean like a pour? Yeah, right. <laughs> How much could a potion cost? I mean, yeah, mixing potions. It's almost ten like cookie. Gold? Uh, ten, ten gold. Ten gold for a potion. Um, among the books is a tome written in dwarvish. Ooh. Davies, Davies, please come here. Do you know dwarvish? We mix these together. Uh, Actually, I do know dwarvish. Uh, uh, well, the journal is an of, of an adventurer named. Ermon, it describes the history of the lost mines of Fandelver and the Forge of Spells. Ooh. I will tell you what that is in a little bit, but let's keep um, going. No, your history. How do you spell that, Ermon? Uh, U-R-M-O-N. I was way off. Uh, in addition, Ermon records that a magic mace named Lightbringer was commissioned by the priests of Lathander, the god of dawn, from the mages working with the gnomes and dwarves of the Fandelver Pact. The mace was lost when Wave Echo Cave and its mind vanished from history. Why does now, it gotta be like that? I can share with you all of the information regarding the lost mind. I think somewhere. From, that's a different blood of... That's a different Thander Mace. That one <laughs> is way better than the one that's in here. I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see. There is something I can share with you here from Chapter 1 regarding the history of... Everybody else got an item in here, and mine's buried in a cave that doesn't exist. <laughs> well, I mean, when you put it that way. I got a friend. Thanks <laughs> for the friendship we made along the way. Let's see. Oh, we'll cheese it over there. Yeah, right? Well, you could have your shield cave. back now. Uh, are we, are we, yeah. con- are we canonically you... making droop a monk? Uh, yes, apparently. Yes. Uh, here's Find the first two. From... This is the first two paragraphs that it tells me I can read you now that you found this journal. 
All right. More than 500 years ago, clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as the Fandelver Pact, by which they would share a rich mine in a wondrous cavern known as Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical power. Human spellcasters allied themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind energy into a great forge called the Forge of Spells, where magic items could be crafted. Times were good, and the nearby town of Phandalin prospered as well, but disaster struck when bandits swept through the north and laid waste to all in their path. A powerful bandit force reinforced by evil mercenary wizards attacked Wave Echo Cave to seize its riches and magic treasures. Human wizards fought alongside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the Forge of Spells, and the ensuing battle destroyed much of the cavern. Few survived the cavern or the cavens and tremors, and knowledge of the location of Wave Echo Cave was lost. So that's what's kind of, again reading the most of the journal that's kind of what mm. you're able to gather from it on top of this mention of the Lightbringer mace um Damn. also in here uh just as a let's see uh there are three bottles in here that you can tell seneth that hold rare kind of reagents for making potions or alchemical things sure. that have not been used or distorted it is one is a mercury Another is Dragon Bile, and the other is Powdered Nightshade, which obviously can all be used for different kinds of potion-making things. Um, but if you wanted to just pawn them off on somebody, um, they're about worth 25 gold pieces each to the right person. Um, and then... Nightshade in your left eye, slam the mercury, put on the beaver pelt. <laughs> that is, you know... There's a night out in town if I've ever heard <laughs> That is very true. And then R12, which connects to it, is his personal quarters. Um, Got to be something good in there. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, he has a desk with various papers and notes, mostly consisting of written orders to apothecaries and alchemists in nearby settlements for more materials for his workshop. However, you also find a letter rolled up and sealed with a wax symbol in the shape of a spider. Would you like to crack that seal and see what it says? Uh, can we inspect it first? Sure. Just to see if this is perhaps... I'll bring it to a SP over there and say, hey, magic? And he's like, no. All right, cool. Uh, I still want to try and inspect it, though. I want to try and remove the seal and keep uh -huh. it whole. Sure. Uh, make me a sleight of hand check. That seems fair. Hey, 25. Let's, Let's go. go. You easily cut this out. You don't get SARS. You're doing great. Um, <laughs> See, you never know. Old school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, reading, it, it says, Lord Albrecht, my spies in Neverwinter tell me that, sh they're, uh, that strangers are due to arrive in Phandalin. They could be working for the dwarves. Capture them if you can. Kill them if you must. But don't allow them to upset our plans. See that any dwarven maps in their possession are delivered to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Yarno. Don't disappoint me. Okay. Mm. And there's no signature, but we do have the spider seal. Correct. Okay. And um, now from the battle image, I know that Albrecht is glass staff. Is there any other way I would know that except for the? Well, this is his desk. Never mind. Yeah, that's <laughs> silly. That's yep. silly. I got it. I came all the way around. Um, and in his like, he's got a Foot Locker, at the bottom of his bed, like a wooden Ooh, foot what locker. Size? Okay, uh, eleven and a half wide. Um. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much, Dad. Uh, <laughs> you can I'll see be... inside there. Um is uh 180 silver pieces uh 130 gold pieces Ooh. a silk pouch with five carnelian gemstones worth 10 gold pieces each and two paradots worth 15 gold pieces each on new year and the freaking moron who didn't carry these on him which I almost did, and then I didn't want to have everybody re-roll new characters. Well, that's a good berries. <laughs> scroll of hold person and a scroll of fireball. Wow. Oof. And I was like, I mean, I made him make his like grand appearance, and I was like, but if he was smart, he would have just opened with fireball. Yeah. 
because then you, then he wins. Like you, that's it. Yeah, Even with we're a, done. unless I roll like hot fat crap on my eight d six. Yeah, and you guys. Yeah, I mean, chances are. HFC. If we're not dead, we're. Well, thank you, Legends of Avantress, for the dead. raid. Hey. Yo, Hi, oh, what's going on? Oh, hey guys. Hey. Oh my God, we got the, what, quite the raid. Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up, fools? We are yeah, looting. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you guys got to play D and D tonight as a yeah. Group, big group. Yeah, for real. Everyone's done being sick. Um, All right, everybody in Advantress, I need you to make. Think of macaroni and cheese. Get yourself a vodka. Combine the two. Richie will let you know what to do. <laughs> oh, um, we'll wait for the instructions. <laughs> there were the two carnelians and what was the other gems? Uh, sorry, the two carnelians. Five carnelians worth ten five. gold yep. pieces each. Okay. Two paradots worth fifteen two gold paradots. pieces each. Okay. Cool. Um. All right. You got the common room. You got his room. Uh, I think you have to crevasse. An, ab an abomination. You're right. You're right. Substitute the vodka for tequila. I don't know what Robert was th talking about. <laughs> it happened to Magfest. I didn't make it. I just took it. Interesting. I have questions, concerns, and follow-ups. All of the above. We'll Dude, tell later. <laughs> I I can't wait to for freaking Pax East. I'm so pumped. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Man. Magfest, I've done it once. I, I wish I didn't know as many people as I do now. It would probably would have been a different experience, but next year is going to be wild. Um, if we just kind of circle around and loot the things that you guys would probably mm -hmm. want to loot in the room with the sarcophagi that you mm -hmm. killed the skeletons, uh, there was actually a jeweled gold bracelet worth 140 gold pieces. Hey, oh, it's some female human remains. Oh, um, let's see. Droop was able to show you how to avoid the trap in the hallway in R3. Okay. Which, Thank you, Droop. Which was a pit trap. Droop. Droop's a homie. Droop. Droop. Droop is a homie. Uh, in R, R1. Um, we'll say at the bottom of that pool, there is a waterproof satchel. And inside said satchel, a potion of healing. 50 Ooh. gold pieces. Dang. A cleaner set of ordinary travel clothing nice. and another clear potion that I'm just going to assume that you can determine at this point. This one is a potion of invisibility based on everything you've seen. Okay. And this appears to probably have been like Glass Taps bug out bag. Uh, okay. If things got south, he was going here, popping the invisibility potion, getting out. Dipping out. Um, Didn't have a chance to do that, though. Um, hey, I just want this satchel. It's what, the waterproof the satchel? Okay. Yeah, 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 this is mine. Uh, and if you were to go into R2, which is the barracks there, um, there is, uh, let's see. God, why do they split it up like this? 28 silver pieces. Uh, 12 gold pieces. 20 copper pieces. Some sweet, sweet 11 electrum pieces. And two garnets Ooh. worth 10 gold pieces each. Nice. It's just Electrum. What? Why? I mean... If we put the horses on consignment, I might be able to get some plate armor. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think hmm. we're close to plate yet. No. <laughs> we might be That's able to horse. score you some splint. A horse has got to be worth just as much as a set of armor there's no, no way. there is there's quite no literally a table in the adventurer guide like the adventuring gear table has horses listed yeah. i don't know why you're I shouting tell you what Ted. as a man who's had horses and boats horses were way more expensive than boats and boats are crazy you know what as a guy <laughs> who unfortunately also owned horses it's insane as a Stabling guy who's them? read Nightmare. the uh player's <laughs> handbook <laughs> Play armor is very expensive. It's true. All right, a now, horse on consignment. A, a riding horse <laughs> is seventy-five gold pieces. Yeah. Now imagine though that for the burden are ridiculously cheap in this economy. A draft horse is only fifty gold pieces. And let's be fair, we don't have the you best of horses. No, and you don't have a war horse, so I'm not even going to bother fair. looking it up. Shattered dreams. 
Uh, we'll so 75, 75 gold pieces, We super glue a horn. They're not our horses, though. To be honest with you, chainmail probably would honestly be a better way. Like, I wouldn't get around. I'd get so tired, and, like, I'd have to take a lot of, like, <laughs> sit you don't, down and bitches a lot of times. You don't get encumbered as a dwarf in heavy armor. That's one of your racial benefits. You don't I know, like, I'm talking about me personally. Oh, you personally. Me, oh, yeah. Me justifying why my chain mail is so cool. Oh, it's the um, best, right? Ro Robert, listen, I think about stairs and I start hyperventilating. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big boy. Unfortunately. Uh, Sometimes I sweat in the shower, okay? <laughs> Chad, unfortunately, the Brogian horse, um, it, do, it, was a, it was a metaphorical horse, not like, the, plus the empire is gone. We've established... Don't, that the Persian yeah. Empire. I will also say that as you are traversing through and gathering all of these things, um, that you do notice again. You specifically, Seneth, who someone seems to be keen on Brosian Empire related things, that it does appear that uh, it would be. Trezendar Manor here may have possibly been. Could it have been a, a Brosian outpost or some sort of ancient Brosian, you know, situation here? You're not sure, not but there sure. seems to be, uh, between the things that you've found here, the weapons, some of the architecture, some of, like, the kind of very faded, like, um, fresco kind of stuff on some of the walls, it does appear to be Brosian in nature. So perhaps, mm. maybe even Phandalin itself was founded on an ancient Brosian outpost. Mm, this is fascinating. Maybe Ouch. don't burn the place down. Right. And you know, for the sake of <clears throat> historical preservation, perhaps this would be one of those things where we could let, um, you know, the Fandolin University of Science, pus, if you will, uh, know about... Um, You've been things. through all of Fandolin. There is no university. You could try to establish one. Fandolin, uh, like you went to all of the towns, all of the uh, spots, pretty the much. The effort to do that, though, God. Correct. Uh, maybe they'll just put a plaque on it and say, found by Seneth. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fine. That'd be good enough. The sexy ruins. <laughs> the, sexy the sexy ruins, ruins. yes. I mean, Seneth is Spalian Zandi, Yuckmeister. It's a long name. Sexy is a lot easier. Sure. Sexy mana? I don't know. Mm. Uh, right. Well, again, the the uh, elementary schools that we were trying to erect weren't fond of sexy middle schools and sexy elementary schools. So, uh, yeah. So you all uh have successfully cleared through everything. Snack pack goes back to his crev his crevasse and just enjoys. You see him like. Wait, wait, didn't Snackback say he had things for us? He gave you the treasure chest with the sword. Yeah, in yeah, it. yeah. All the stuff okay. we just got. I'm just. I, I didn't know that if was it the was... beginning of our huge. I just want to check stuff. to see if there wasn't like he had something personal for us versus he had a know. chest of things for you. <laughs> but yes, um, he gave you that. How do you like an engraved watch for me or something? I don't know. All right. So the only thing left is down this secret tunnel. Then secret tunnel. Uh, then you die. Yes, the secret tunnel to the north, you mean? I do mean the secret tunnel to the north. Um, In the north where the secret tunnel is? Slither up there like a snake. Yeah, well, we have a little snake. slithery snake here. A, what's down that tunnel there, A? He says that. A great question for Ted to not have an answer to because it doesn't actually tell you where it goes. Guess you're going to have to come in next episode when we figure out. <laughs> I actually think it's just um, supposed to be another way, like up and out. Okay. It looks like it's mm. it looks like it's down. Does that it does for look sure down. goes down. Um, what about we were also looking for that um, woman's heirloom? Did we get that? The, well, she uh, said that was in another town. Oh, it's in yeah, another yeah. town. Was okay. Thunder, I thought it was in another thunder tree. Thunder tree. Right. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Well, thunderstruck. Well, thunderstruck. We'll make it thunderstruck. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, yeah. It's now I have to go in and change my notes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Jake. It's Thunderstruck. The town of Thunderstruck. You should know better by now, Jake. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Imagine hailing from the town of Thunderstruck. 
Oh, yeah. it I got, got taken been... over by Undead, though, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Metal enough, I stayed. Fucking Iron D Maiden and... fans. I was going to say, it was Iron Maiden fans yeah. took over Thunderstruck. <laughs> so a bunch of Daddy Eddies just running around fucking shit Every up day, for everybody. Every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it. A... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it turns Cooper out every uh, day out the door. A lot, a lot of a uh, lot of heavy metal fans in the Sword Coast. Um, it's just it's crazy. How you there. get through the day? You know, uh, some people were blessed with magic. Other people were blessed with sweet, sweet guitar skills or lute skills. I guess in this instance. Um, Not below Fandelver, so you would be from Thunder from Down Under. Uh, oh. Bless you. Yes. Hey, but Bless you know it. what? Let's give it up for that New York ingest. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. Um, it's, it's been streaming for more than 30 minutes. Let's right, go. It has not crapped out on us, which is very impressive. Yeah. Um, also, I'll just throw it out there. Probably part of the reason, just for you guys and everybody who may not know, I did put out a video right before we went live where I have eight different giveaways for a variety of different D&D stuff. So there's a video on the YouTube channel with Everything from giant boxes of minis to limited edition covers of books and things that I just have extra stuff of. Like, would you like to win possibly this sweet Demogorgon mini? Hey, yo. Like, oh, like that's up for mini about that. Uh, so that's the thing. Or, or, you know, this Baphomet guy. Or maybe just a whole ass brick of these minis. Like, I don't need these. I got too many. Giving them away. You have too many minis. I do. Um, I can't tell if you have a wave glaive back there behind you or a long bow, but I think that's, that's a long bow. <laughs> it's actually, if we want to, this is a recurve bow right here. This is a custom crafted recurve bow engraved to my name. My dad had made for me. That's right over here. Legit. Uh, we could get into the long, almost Olympic trajectory that I had game, with archery, game, game. but we're I'm playing. I'm glad we're playing D and D instead, though. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I love me some archery, man. Dude, I love me some oh, Ted yeah. lore. Oh, there's a lot. Uh, there's down a lot. here, we'll throw axes. So, That's for after the stream, mm. uh, guys. Yeah. That's Patreon content. If you guys are watching, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not. Um, there's no content. Not. Over That's there. a don't lie. Do that I made that up. Don't there is a Patreon. You could throw there is. Axes at and you Gen can Con. subscribe if you want. Don't do it. There is a place. Don't don't bother. But you could. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't. But you could. Anyways. Anyway. Uh, is that uh, all the stuff? That is okay. all of the stuff, and yet it really doesn't give you anything. It just tells you that there are secret doors. Um, and it really, I'm not seeing anything that takes me. If we were to figuratively leave and rest, would I wake up feeling a little bit stronger? Oh, oh, I, I feel like somebody's angling for somebody angling for a level three. Is that what I hear? I somebody... think what? Who said that? I think we need to do a little bit more role playing before we do that. We have conversations that need to be had. Yeah, we oh, I just need to... I just need a confirmation that I feel stronger. That's all. I just you know. I feel stronger You're very as strong friends. Over there. Right, right, our bonds feel stronger, they especially really with do. group. Yeah, we're yeah. one party member. Up, I, I did want to ask, Dude. what's your what's your plan with Droop, realistically? I mean, he can go wherever he wants. Send him right? to college. Yes, yeah. I see. <laughs> send him back, Senna. You have to write him a note to your father and let him know he is your new best friend and ward. <laughs> Um, <coughs> I, I think he Ward's is a better cartographer it. than all of us. Yeah, oh that... my gosh, he could learn so much. Oh, right, we could actually, set him up in the town. cartography school. Do you want to go to cartography school, Drew? Drew, would you like to return to your family? <laughs> I was, just, I was gonna, you know, I really. So, first, I'm bullied. Is vaguely threatening. <laughs> first, I'm I'm bullied by bugbears. Then. I feel like I'm insulted due to the fact that I have literacy. Uh, I craft a beautiful map. I feed people good berries in a very scary combat with magics of all sorts of kinds. Mm -hmm. You've done incredible. All I did was come here to try to get parts to fix a wagon. Listen, I'm not saying that I'm not flattered for the opportunity to go to a university and learn whatever you learn at a university. Um... I do want to fix that wagon, though. Like that was right. that was the main right, crux you know, of me we coming could do here. That. Yeah, we get. Right, Are we there can... parts here for that? I well, I just buy him a new wagon. Yeah, we. Oh. Oh, right, hold on, Droop. What? Right, what did you require the wagon for? 
I mean, we have the wagon. When you live in the mountains as a group of kind of like tinkery nomadic goblins, you find a right. wagon like that's that's a win. That's a good day. No, that, right. And we, uh, hey, 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 I'm not questioning and judging you. I just want to make sure that like if I could get you something better. Right. So here's what we can do. Instead right. of fixing up a rickety old broken down wagon, which is a great find in the woods. Sure. Yeah, I agree. We'll buy you a brand new wagon. Okay. Give it to your little goblin family. And then if you right, decide, sure. I want to continue my education. And then you can make money. And money can buy the more supplies that you can send back home. You could do that. Or... Mm. If you decide you just want to fuck off and never see us again, that is also your right. I see. I see. Well, here, here's what I'll say. Uh, so, one, I will accept your offer of a free wagon. Because, you know what they say, don't look a gift wagon in the wheels. I don't know. I made that up. That's dumb. Uh, but That's smart. I, like uh, I also <laughs> wouldn't mind getting another wheel because, like, also, while having the things are nice part of the concept of being a tinkerer is doing the fixing. Right. So like, I want to fix it to just say that I did, but also I'm not going to say no to two wagons. Cause that's two times the stuff. Right. No, we're not. I also don't, we don't have wagon. things to pull the wagons, but it would be cool to have two wagons. See like other goblins train wolves and wargs. Like we just, I don't do we I'm don't just kidding. Do, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Drew, what would it be the best way to reach you again? Uh well what's your address? <laughs> you can reach me. This is my phone number. Uh this is my sending stone number. Um what's your WhatsApp? <laughs> Are you on Discord, Drew? <laughs> okay. I mean, this whole thing was kind of discordant, you know, if you're being honest, mm, but for sure. um no, I so feel that we at least owe you something, and if I were to come across, well, I, 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 I would be tools. willing. I, I, you know, I listen. I don't have a problem coming back to the town, possibly bringing some of my friends and family back. Now, here's the thing: not all people are just so openly accepting right. of goblins. Sorry. I don't know, or, like, if sorry, like. Sorry. The town of Phandalin is going to be down for just like also having goblin inhabitants. Here's here's how I can help you with that. Uh, I'm going to take out my heart shaped rock. Okay. And I'm going to gift it to him. Okay. Right. Um, Droop, this rock uh, has a magical property to it that allows people to really like you. Um <laughs> So just oh. carry it on your person at all times when you come into town. Sure. We'll let okay. them know. That the heart-shaped rock means that you are a friend to them. And that way, they won't run you out of town. Or tonight, you could come back and celebrate in town with us, and we could talk about how pivotal you were. We could do both. We could do both. Sure. Okay. Invite the family. I, I, I'm going to take you all at your word uh, that you, uh, that if I go and get some of my tribe and family and come back to Fandolin that it's not an ambush. It's not a murder party. Right. That Listen, I mean, stranger things have happened. Sure. I watched true. you murder party a whole bunch of people. Well, they murder well, partied other people first. They well, yeah. kidnapped people. C right. Correct. They were we can also meet on the outskirts of town. I mean, town. look at it from my perspective. Right? We're really good guys. Yeah, we should talk to the town and make sure they're cool with it, because none of us live here. That's true. Make arrangements yeah. soon. That's a good we'll... point. Yeah. Hey, what? What? we just moved. We uh, we know we just met you. Also, goblins live here now. Maybe not yeah. the best move. Or, or else. Yeah. Um. Okay, how about this? Um, sure. Here's what do you got? 10 gold, 2 Great. electrum, 3 silver, and 3 copper. For Love all it. of your hard work. Awesome. And then huh. you can come back to town with us okay. uh, tonight, sure. and we can tell the story of how awesome you are, and if they receive you well, then then they'll know you, and then you can come back at your leisure, if if that's cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, also, just don't let them kill me if they're not reasonable. Of course. Of course. I no, would never we're... let them kill you. You're awesome, Drew. 
Okay. I mean, listen, I'm down to come back to town and see what's going on. What's going down in Fandolin. Hopefully, I, listen, my people don't have a great reputation as a general thing. Goblins, you know, they're just not... I, I mean, listen, there's a lot of bad goblins out there. But, you know, then like for every tribe of bad goblins you know occasionally you have someone like like a drizzed right a good you know a drow out there there's another guy in the town oh i forgot i thought you were referring to drizzed as a goblin person <laughs> no no but i mean like you know there's people that rise above what right, the right, perceptions right. of their stereotypes don't yeah yeah, yeah exactly I mean, like so, a cosplayer goblin a hero to like everyone <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just like it's, it's like his buddy like his cousin he just goes by Driz now, but he's just a goblin with two scimitars and like you know a house cat. Not even two scimitars, just a two, house cat. Two knives. He's, it's a black cat with like Guinevar and a little black cat. It's um, kinda... He'd be best friends with Carp. Yeah, he would be. They could become oh, an adventuring so party. I um, want to Ted uh, yeah. in my searches. Would I know a place to find a uh, all-purpose tool? Not a not a plus, you know, like a, a high level one. But is there? You think there's some place where I can find uh, uh, a like the essential a tinker toy? Yeah, the the uh, you know the artificer's all purpose tool. Oh, like a tink. Okay, so right. I, I tell you what. Here's what I'll say. You guys are making your way back into town. A Riss army knife, if you will. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh. It's just, it well, the Brosian lore is getting so deep, Jonathan. We don't want to get into a whole new thing. I'm very interested in the Brosian Empire. I didn't think I would be. I thought it was silly. But now here I am. One there's a lot, more there's a lot of history out there. Yeah, it's quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I have a whole document of Brosian Empire related stuff for <laughs> Fandolin that I just started coming up with. Um, let me get to my thing that I want to talk to you about for right now. Um, so as you're making your way back into town, you notice, uh, a, uh, a shop, like, like a stand that's kind of set up that wasn't there when you came into town. It wasn't there when you went in to Trezendar Manor, but it is now kind of, it's like a, it's like, it very clearly like look like a wagon, like a camper kind oh, of okay. wagon. Oh, okay, so like, like a pop-up shop, not a like brick and mortar a, shop. Not yet. Um, okay. oh, and it has a big sign out front, and it says Tilverton's Treasures on the front. And you can see a silver dragonborn. He's out front, kind of like setting stuff up, and you can see he's kind of like, he's like pushing, pulling levers, and like the, the camper style pop-up truck is kind of like, things are kind of growing and like segmenting. Um, and you can see... Uh, that like it's a you know Tilverson treasures pop up and then like pfft, rolls out from underneath it is arcane artificer rolls out right underneath it um and yeah you know you can see this guy and he's starting to like set up kind of glass display cases and you can see him like he's tacking up like scrolls with like things that he offers and stuff so thank you again for the raids we're getting raided like crazy tonight um so you can see that as you guys get closer he has a kind of list of services he's got an identification magic item uh detection and identification he calls it what does he call it uh arcane assessment i believe is what he calls that he sells he has god he just has lists and prices for current uh, magic items that he has in his possession. Um, let's see. What else does he have? Uh, ba -ba -ba. What the hell is it called? Oh, he has identification. What was the other one called? Uh, Arcane Synthesis is another thing he has listed with price that varies, and there's like a series of stepped processes underneath this. Um, and basically what you can kind of tell from this is this artificer has a variety of different services, everything from, again, detecting and identifying magical items, the purchases and sales of magical items, 
He also, if you look through kind of the description of arcane synthesis, it is a process to basically, potentially, depending on price and how much you guys have to offer, combine effects of magic items together, you know, at a Ooh. fee. Okay. So, like, for example, if you had a cool new Brosian rapier but didn't want to lose the rapier that also detects undead, <laughs> you could combine them together. Ooh. Things like that. Um, well, he, I will definitely go to flag this gentleman down. Uh, he also, you also see, uh, we're going to go straight up Diablo socketing, right? He can add sockets to things with have certain gemstones will have socketing properties because we have so many freaking rocks in this goddamn game. And then a character obsessed with rocks, I got to make use of the rock magic. So it we're going to 18 gems on one shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all gem. Yeah. Um, just a, we keep getting attacked because people are trying to steal our shield with 14,000 gems. Uh, yeah. And he's just kind of there and he's again, he's maybe six and a half feet tall, kind of, uh, you know, it's got the sort of the dragonborn sort of like dreads that they kind of have, you know, but mostly silver scales that have kind of started. You can see they're kind of uh, darkening to the tips. Looks like he might be a little bit on the older side. Excuse me, sir. And he turns around and he looks at you and he kind of assesses everything. And he says, well, hello. Oh, uh, I don't say that, but I think it. Hello. This is a mighty fine shop you're putting up here. Well, uh, I mean, I think it's wonderful. What brings you to Fandolin? My name is Eldon Tilverton, and I am an artificer. Well, Eldon, I, uh, in particular, am looking for an all-purpose tool if you had one. Well, it just so happens that I do. Would you like to purchase one? I have many items for sale. Come, look. So many. In particular, wow. let's see, uh, uh, Drew, Drew, come here, come here. It sounds like Gene Wilder doing <laughs> Christopher Walken. Take it it's however great. you will. It's <laughs> phenomenal. I love everything about it. <laughs> well, it had Drew to be somebody just, that's going to stick around for a while. So, um, and he's like, what, what, what's going on? What, what are you doing? What's up? You, 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 you talked about your tools of the trade. Uh, I, yes. I thought that maybe uh, we could go in here and look for you an old purpose tool. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds like it has many purposes. Uh, yeah, it looks like, it's, like a, it's like a screwdriver, but it can transform into a, a couple of different things. It's a, it's a handy piece for anyone that's a, a tinker. Let's see. I want to make sure that you're able to, you know, it works for you. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, that sounds good, but I'll bet you that's probably expensive. Uh, well, let's find out. Uh, I, I turn to look around for the dragon. Oh, he's, he's like, and he's just kind of like, he's there. He kind of like pops up. He's like, what? Wow, wow, hello. Oh, what? Wow, this is a, a goblin in the town. <laughs> he's quite fine. He's cool. Right. Master yeah, he, cartographer, actually. He's helped us, actually, yes. Yeah, look at this map. I love maps. <laughs> look, he made this. Wow. What a map. Uh, what about that all-purpose tool? Uh, what, would right, you be, right. uh, what would you be charging for one of those? Well, I mean, well, I, I do use many myself for building... All of this wonderful things. I, mm, well, if I had to put a price on an all purpose tool, I would say I, maybe, well, you're my first customer in the new town. 350 gold pieces, perhaps? Ooh. Ooh. Now, uh, sir, friend, that is quite the deal. I could charge much, much more in, like, a water deep. I look around at the nine buildings in this town. I'm like, a Baldur's Gate? A Neverwinter, perhaps? 
Hard, I'll be honest with you. I got about a hundred gold on me. I have a periodot. <laughs> it's a beautiful periodot. When did we get a parrot? No, no it's a. He says, well, well, I have many other things you may find of use that might be oh. in your price right. area. Yeah. Oop, show him the tattoo. <laughs> uh, and Drew was like, man. Nah. He's like, wow. What a tat! This that is crazy! This, wow! No. In my darkest hour, this man received a tattoo of me on my deathbed. I owe this man. Please, if you could have it in your heart, like this goblin had in for mine when he rushed me one of my own good berries. This is what I got, and I, I'm going to slide whatever whatever my gold amount is. I am going oh, to slide no, forward to get this no, man a multi tool. Rotten. I have a periodot. They're worth like at least 400 gold. I think they are. Well, I don't know about gems. I'm sorry. I mean, this must be quite the stone to be worth 400 gold pieces. I am quite I mean, knowledgeable about many gems. Love gems. Put a socket. Yeah, she she in thing, put a gem in the out, socket. Wow, new magic. This, <laughs> this like transparent green hued stone with like green accents inside of it and places it on the counter and says, well, what do you think? Which just, which stone is this out of curiosity? It's a period. <laughs> okay, he's like, well. They're, they're worth a, they're worth 500 in, in the thing and the gear and equipment. Are they really? Yes. <laughs> And you gave me two. Did I? Oh, I said these are the ones that we just talked about, right? I don't know if it was something I just got or you, I think we so. just got them. Yeah, because yeah. they were only worth fifteen gold pieces. That oh. we yeah, about. I, I was. Oh. We were running through a lot. I, I, I put it in it, the thing. I just, it's a gear. It's in gear, and it came uh, up as worth five hundred there. So I just. Okay. I'm, no, uh, no, this is worth the ones that you got 50. were worth fifty. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Okay. Then oh, I, never mind. Are you, gonna, are you gonna still try that suit? I wasn't uh, sure if you were trying to lie to him. No, no. <laughs> That's what it said on my sheet. I was like, these are worth a lot, man. Holy um, cow. It is, um, it is in the basic inventory. It does say it's worth 500 gold pieces. However, the ones that I specifically told you were, yes. were only worth 15. 15. That's fair. So that I don't know where you more... stand in total and who's willing to you know, chip in here. Um, or... How much is your arcane assessments? Because we do have a uh, a new plethora of magical items, including this wonderful walking stick uh, made of some sort of very dense material, as well as this, and I pull my new sword. Well, he's like, wow. Okay, well, brand new shop, brand new customers. I will give you a discount also, I have many items, and he shows you there's like a, a list, and he's got um, the current. I would love to stay a while and listen. That's what I was going to say next. <laughs> stay a while and also listen. Uh, and he gives you the list, and he runs down it, and you can see what he currently has available in his current stock is a wand of magic detection for 150 gold pieces. Uh, potions of healing, 50 gold, that's standard. He has a cloak of billowing for 25 gold pieces. Boots of false tracks for 60 gold pieces. Gloves of swimming and climbing for 100 gold pieces. He's got a scroll of shield for 50 gold pieces. An ever-smoking bottle for 100 gold pieces. Uh, clouds. A mystery key for 75 gold pieces. Uh, and he sells currently what he has in stock is I'm rolling a d4 for this. Two, milligram. two, what he calls arcane trinkets, which are 20 gold pieces each. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look back at Zenith. Zenith wants that mystery key. Well, hold on, right, right, hold on. How, how much gold do we each get? Oh, I, I put did. it in the Discord. 
He will ah. tell you. He also has descriptions of what everything nice. does. Just so you know, the mystery key, once per day, when you encounter a lock, you can attempt to unlock it. You roll a d20. If you roll a 20, the key unlocks the lock, and then it becomes non-magical after that, and it only works on that lock. But it has the chance to work on any lock. Okay. All right, so we each have 85 gold. How much is the... Right, how much is the um, arcane assessment, you said? Uh, He says, well, how many... Two items? Only two? Right, just my your rapier, this staff. Anybody else have anything? Uh, oh, Ooh, actually... Check. I'm going to put Bishop to the side really quickly. You've, right, you've got the talking frog in your backpack, should we? I don't think that the frog was talking. I think that was... I thought it was talking. Turns out probably Is Snack it not pack. talking? I think Snack Pack was talking, not the frog. Right, like but... Snack Packs. You got one? Bronson did detect... Excuse me. We're, yeah, we're it, trying this to is a, a private conversation. conversation. In front of my shop. We're whispering to each yes, other. You God. have wonderful hearing, and that's fine. And I apologize yeah. for coming at you so hard. Spatial awareness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we have that, the <laughs> statue of the frog. Um, uh, I pull out the short sword and the crossbows and see if those are magic. He says he will assess all of your items that you have right now. It's like a one-time combo deal as first-time customers. 50 gold pieces. He'll do all of them. You're like I'm paying my property taxes um, over here. I will. I'll, I'll pay that for sure. Okay. Will you? I. Yeah, I just said I would. Right. Could we? Listen, first-time shop. I respect the hustle. I really understand that. Um, as somebody who's learning of the world could you give us a discount and we'll say 35 gold pieces coming in confident with that number well i tell you what you mentioned you're learning about the world so i imagine you're going many places mm -hmm. that's your mm -hmm. plan travel see mm -hmm. all of the things Right, right. And the stuff, of course. And this is my, as as you, you said, first time shop in the new town. I will give you that discount. However, I would like for you to spread the word of uh, Tilverton's treasures all around the Sword Coast. I would like to brand your clothing Sponsorship. Oh. I extend right. my poncho forward. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're looking at being having a sponsorship deal then for a discount. Um, I'm gonna use divine sense. Okay. On this guy <laughs> to see if he's a demon, a celestial. Yeah. I, yeah. Or, uh, yep. Yeah. Undead. Screw it. He's like, hey, I want, I want to make a deal. It feels like he's like a packed guy. Uh, he, no, no, no pings on your divine sense. All right, good. Uh, yes, that's fair. Pings on but you your don't. Sense. Well, yes, but it's you <laughs> instead, and I know you're. A... And my little closet. But yeah, the closet. Yeah, yeah. but yes, so there's a feed and uh, a pack. Yeah. You have a used car salesman somewhere in a thirty foot radius. Yeah. Uh, right. Um. um wow. What, what, do what does think? his symbol look like? That is a great question. Because right. I, I do have I have some absolute pride in, in my aesthetic, so I, could, uh, I just it's, the vanity is real. It's, it's three T's stacked on top of each other. Ooh, Tilverton's tinkering treasures. treasures. Yeah, I love these fiber this NPC's logo for us. Uh, <laughs> I I I will do that tonight. I will contact somebody <laughs> on Fiverr and tell them, or I could I could take I'll, a journey, put, but like not a good journey. Just like a mid one. I'll <laughs> see what comes up. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I respect the honesty. Oh, God. For this stupid ass shit? Yeah, I might. You know, I mean, I don't need to. Uh, I don't know. I mean, who knows, right? This might become my most profitable piece of merchandise I make for my channel. It becomes. I mean, make it memorable, make him exciting, yeah. make people Not like quicks. him. That's how you I'd be fine on it. The sword coast. That's what I would do. Uh, oh, thanks, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll have to get back to you, Jake. It's I don't have a logo working right. on He's it. It's just starting. But I think if you get a logo 
and it it matches somewhere in my aesthetic i'd be willing to do that um what does this wand of magic detection do i mean name but sure right. uh you know it it <laughs> it has three charges the, the wand sass. the wand of uh magic detection three charges while holding you can expend a charge to cast the detect magic spell from it it gets all the charges back at dawn all right so that again that's detect magic as the spell so it lasts for a minute it's an action to cast it from the wand you now have three sure. charges of it Again, much different though than the identify spell. It'll just tell correct. Us if It'll tell you magic. if something is magical, not what the magic is. Yes. So he will tell you from and now there potentially right because first level spell scrolls are fifty gold pieces. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He could you know he doesn't have any at the moment, but he could work to get like scrolls of identify. Sure, sure. So that you could just do it on the fly because you could do it. You're a sorcerer. You have it in your spell list. Okay. Um. But um, he will tell you that out of the stuff that you had, your frog, yes. the sword, and the staff are magic. The short sword and the crossbows were not. Okay. So about 12 golden item then for this first time. Um, uh, and can he identify them as well? Mm -hmm. He said he would okay. do both. Check for magic and identify for the, the right. 35 um, gold if you... Well, Bishop, if you're comfortable with that, plaster that um, on yourself. Would be a walking advertisement for him. I mean, the deal is we will verbally agree to verbally announce that you are a reputable establishment. Verbally and also only. where what he comes up with as a well, symbol. right? No, hold up, no, no, well, hold, hold on, hold on. My father was a master of business, and I take after him. In this current transaction, we will do just verbal. Once you come up with a logo, we will redefine our terms and redefine the discount, in which case we will then don whatever appropriate logo you've established. Wow. Savvy business. <laughs> Deal. All right. Um, I will pay 16 of the 35 gold. All right. I will cover the rest. Okay. Incredible so, paradigm shift in business. So, for, I, you I give show him you the book, some money. Uh, rich dad, poor dad. I was like, I read it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the staff is a staff of defense. Staff of defense is an attunement magic item. When the wielder holds the staff, uh, they get a just holding the staff, period, gives you a plus one to AC. While holding the staff, also you can it uh, it has ten charges. While holding it, you can expend associated charges to cast the following spells from the staff: mage armor for one charge, shield for two charges. Oh, that's nice! It regains wow. a d6 plus four charges daily at dawn. If you expend the last charge, roll a d20 on a one. It shatters the glass of the staff, shatters, and it becomes useless. But holding on to it alone is just a flat out plus one AC, and then you can cast Mage Armor for again the one and Shield for two. It's probably one of the biggest defensive upgrades you will have right out the gate. And mm -hmm. it's like, thank you again. Another raid. Jeez, we're on fire tonight. All right. Um, now, the sword, which I have to officially make up an item in DD &D Beyond, is uh, it's, it is a Broscade, as I told you. That's the name of the sword. Yes. It is a plus one rapier. Wow. Um, so right there. And it has uh it is attunement. Um, let's see, I think it's attunement, right? Yeah. I have to look at it. I'll write it down. I'll write it down officially, but it also has the ability Brosian nimbleness. <laughs> which the wielder can use an action to increase their AC. Uh, sorry, a bonus action to increase their AC by, I think it's one. I have to check what I wrote down, but by one till the start of their next turn. Uh, and they could do that proficiency bonus times per long rest. Oh, wow. Okay. And th that's a bonus action to do that? To add that, yeah. I have to, okay, cool. I have to, I'll define it fully when I make the item. Okay, cool. But as it is right now, it is a plus one rapier that you know, we're currently, again, is bonus action to add one to your AC proficiency bonus times per long rest. 
Hell yeah. Um, so that is... Oh, and the frog. Yes. The frog mm. lets whoever holds it, it is not attunement, cast speak with dead once per long rest. Oh. All right. Nifty. I don't like that. What? No, this is incredibly useful. Oh, no, it's useful. I just don't like speaking with the dead. Oh. As you got to remember, my whole shtick is Latinos like in spooky shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you got to stick to your brand. <laughs> um, listen, I'm committed to the bit now. Whether you want to or not at this point. That's who I am. All right. Uh, so with that... I think we'll probably bring it to a close. We ran a little bit over, but we also stopped like eight times in the middle. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, you like that sometimes. Yeah, but uh, I want to say thank you to all of the subs and the follows and the raids and everybody. I really need now, if this is going to keep up, I'm going to have to build that credit scene that I used to have that just runs the Star Wars credit crawl for everybody who donated and followed and everything. I have to build that back up. Um, but yeah, we're going to go around the room and, and introduce you to, again, all of our players here, and then we'll kind of call it quits for tonight. Uh, again, this will be available kind of in an edited down version that will have all of the cuts and stops pulled out of it ah! over on YouTube, um, and we'll see what it sounds like in a podcast form. It's going to be, that'll be fun, it'll be a little bit harder to do, but we'll see what happens. Who are best? So, so anyway, uh, we'll start with you, Robert. You're up first here on the overlay. Hey, oh, hey, sorry about that. Uh, hey, I'm Captain <laughs> Robert. I play D&D &D all over the internet. You can find me at Captain Robert at everything, and I've been paying Bronson Bully, the Lion of Lightland. Uh, LB, how about you? Hello, I'm LB Hackamup, and you can follow me at LB Hackamup on all the socials except for Twitch and YouTube, where we are hack recklessly. Um, we're going to be live next tomorrow doing our Glitter Hearts game. It is so much fun, run by Greg Leatherman himself, with a fully queer cast. It is amazing. All of the characters are just incredible. One of them is like a pure weeb who pushes up his glasses weird and everything. It's amazing. So Cujo, join us it? for that. Very cool. Are you guys doing traditional like magical girl transformations with the Glitter Hearts? Yeah. Oh, yes. We all have themes, and it is tarot-themed. Oh, very um, cool. Yeah. Yeah, and our, uh, our magical creature is a magic eight ball that has like a little spirit like of a little guy that comes out of it. It's great. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All exactly. right. Uh, Jonathan. Hola, buenas tardes. My name is Jonathan Perez. I was Senef, uh, but you know me as Latinos Against Spooky Shit. You can find me everywhere as Latinos Against Spooky Shit, except X or Twitter. It's Against Spooky because my name's too long and I didn't think about branding. Uh, yeah. But here we are. Um, but you can find me playing D&D, &D, playing Mysteries of the Mom, playing all sorts of TTRPGs uh, all over the place. Tales of Novum, Critical Dice, all across the board. Uh, you can find me Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Twitch streaming. Sometimes I play comfy games, sometimes spooky games. Do a little bit of it all. Um, and then Tabletop Tempest, AP channel, founded by immigrants and the children of immigrant parents, coming out uh, this summer with our cool. official APs. Um, yeah, super excited, super stoked for that. So that's all I got. Yeah. Awesome. Jake, how about you? Uh, first, I'd like to plug uh, Jonathan's stuff. Uh, his acronym is LASS, yeah. so that's fun, and we enjoy it. Um, <laughs> but you can also catch me uh, at um, I, my podcast, Legends Rerolled. It's a TTRPG podcast where we replay classic stories. We're doing The Wizard of Oz right now, um, and that's a ton of fun. But this was a ton of fun, laughing. Uh, nearly dying, not dying, and then meeting uh, some amalgamation of famous people in the form of a silver dragonborn. It's been a lot of fun. Also, I want to see what Droop's tattoo evolves into as it slowly changes. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Yeah, and obviously, uh, I'm Ted. I run this channel. Uh, I, unfortunately, it's been a little light on content this week. Uh, had a lot of unfortunate cancellations for one reason or another. I will link my own video on YouTube in the chat. That is the one that has the links to the eight different giveaways that I have running right now. It's free to enter. I'm doing, I always do them international. So 
yeah, sometimes it sucks for shipping, but it is what it is. Uh, and yeah, I mean, other than like if your country doesn't allow people to send things to you, I can't help with like custom hard lockdowns. But either way, uh, yeah, and it runs till the end of February at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. You can enter multiple, all you can enter all eight giveaways if you want. And uh, I'm not, like, if you're lucky enough to win two, you win two. You know, this is what it is. I'm not locking people out. So, um, and if you really want to go nuts and say, like, hey, I'm going to make a whole bunch of fake email accounts to keep registering myself, go ahead. Do, Do it up. Live it up. Keep, keep keep subscribing to the channel. Just keep on with all your fake accounts. I don't care. <laughs> but anyway. Ooh, what, I got one last announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for everybody that's out there, if you love your favorite creators on Twitch, the next three months are the most important <laughs> months of all time for them. Go out there, find your favorite creators, and drop a sub to them for the next three months in a row. Some of them you can literally do the three month sub extension on and get the discount for thirteen fifty. It will literally change their creator lives because of the plus program that has gone through. It can help your favorite creator earn up to ten percent, all the way up to twenty percent more for every sub that they have. That is a massive deal for all of us. So if you love your creators, go out there, ask them about the plus program. And uh, bring a new friend to their stream. There let's do go. that. Yeah. Let's get everybody. Uh, that friend let's get everybody three plus. friends, and each of those three friends uh, bring three more friends. That's and how it you kind get of the turns into this. Yeah. It's a weird shape. shape. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but R anyway, Cat yeah. Robert would love to have health care. <laughs> <laughs> we will. We'll be back next Wednesday with more of this campaign, uh, and you had a wonderful time talking to our brand new character. I knew I had to input. Christopher Walken kind of in there somewhere. So good. Uh, he was going to be Sildar Hallwinter, but he got blown up at the start. So he's dead. <laughs> so I, to get to bring him in. I like Sterling Silver. Uh, uh, but having that conversation with him was so illuminating. Level three. Whoa, we'll see you guys go. next week.